and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Tune in this Bank Holiday Monday for the launch of Gemma Crow's DVD, Cinema Projects. Gemma will guide you through an array of different techniques, including roses, leaves, feathers and spirals. Take your cinema work to the next level, so make sure you tune in this Monday at 10am. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to Sunday's Late Show. Uh, welcome to the last show of the week. Um, but of course it's bank holiday, which is fantastic. So we all get an extra day, don't we? Well, okay. Not all of us. I know. I know. I know. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I know some people have been out in the sunshine working hard today. You are close today, aren't you, actually? I quite like it, though. It's, a, it's nice and intimate, isn't it? quite like that actually. Um, have you seen all of my uh, my goodies here? I mean it is like a treasure trove today let me tell you. Um, on the top row um, tonight on my top tea bar oh you're going for pearls are you? Look at that very 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 nice. Pearls for the girls as they say. Um, on my top row tonight is all of my star buys. They're, they're up here um, and then on the uh, there they are on the top right and on the lower they're all new in. In fact, all the star buys are new in as well. So all of the pearly star buys at the top and all of these goodies here along here, which include abalone and tanzanite and appetite and all sorts going on, um, are all brand new. You make me feel brand new. Oh yes, and it's not just me tonight, of course. No, 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 no. In the studio tonight, Please let me just show you how the seat belts are buckled and adjusted because you'll need to be strapped in tightly because it is supersonic. <laughs> Katie Reid! Uh, hello! Hello, lovely, how oh, are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> we have laughed so much this afternoon already. It is ridiculous. The conversations we've had this afternoon have been already ridiculous. Yeah. I'm quite glad you, you weren't there for that bit. But you're there for this bit and that's all that matters. Uh, we got four hours together. Let's do cast and crew next because we have got owner of a brand new masterpiece behind camera two. It is Leah. You're very pleased about your new masterpiece as well, aren't you? We can't talk to you about it at all, but there you go. Just take it as read. Leah is now the owner of a new masterpiece and we can't go any further than that, can we, Katie? Uh, no. No, it's probably best not to anyway, isn't it? Um, uh, down the Tunnel of Love, I do believe. Down the Tunnel of Love, Cam. There's Sam. Hey, Sam. Um, and in the TARDIS tonight, looking brighter and bolder than we've ever seen before, because he has now 11 days off after tonight, it's producer Phil on the left-hand side yeah. and on the right-hand side, trying to keep some kind of order behind, <laughs> in front of 101 different screens, is director Mike, um, who did keep, uh, did, was good to his word and did bring in lots and lots of goodies. I have to say, I feel re-energised having enjoyed one of Mike's beef pasties. Oh, it was very, very good. Proper bit of beef that, Mike. Very good indeed. Congratulations. Well done. Um, lovely. No, no, you can't say that, Phil. No, 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 no. No. We know people that work for that company. Um, anyway, so 
So, um, in the next four hours, we've got lots to do. It is um, the autumn wedding fair, although we're not exclusively talking about um, wedding bits and pieces. There are all sorts going on throughout the evening. We quickly show you a star by coming up at 6.30. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I tell you what, you are here just at the right time. Cultured pearl rice beads, five by six up to six by seven. We have managed to get a brand new strand on your screen in half an hour for a price tag, which is quite frankly, ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Um, Katie's first kit, uh, which is called, hang on, hang on, hang on, I've got so many papers tonight. Oh, it's Mother of the Bride, isn't it? Your first one. No. No, here comes the bride. That's, That's the it. One. Here the bride comes first and then we deal with the mother afterwards, uh, or the mother-in-law afterwards. Um, and that could be Mother of the Bride or Mother of the Groom, to be honest with you. Right, you ready to get cracking then? We're going to start with a brand new one. And we'll go for our new NT bar. It's Tanzanite Nuggets, never been seen before. Now, last night while I was here uh, with Jill Hunter, I had uh, quite a regular customer who is uh, now not standing that million miles away from me <laughs> now. You were busy shopping last night, I weren't was, you? I was, wasn't I, yeah. Busy, busy shopping last night. Have you, have you got your purse with you? <laughs> Bring big bags, little money. Um, we've got a brand new strand of Tanzanite nuggets for you. This is going to be one of these amazing ones. Um, what? Not doing that. Sh Phil's showing us 11.95 there, but we're oh. not doing that. We are not doing There are only 32 of these. Wonderful for drop earrings. Oh, oh my word. Six pounds and 95 pence. That's Tanzanite. That's 66 carats of Tanzanite. Six pounds and 95 pence. Just grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it quickly. I expect your name to be, uh, to be appearing on my little wall of fame. There are 32 opportunities, that's it. Now, Linda's in first in North Yorkshire, uh, followed by a collector in Staffordshire and Karen in Cambridgeshire, and here comes Gillian in the West Midlands, and here comes a collector, uh, Charlotte in Lancashire, and Marie in, on Merseyside. Julian Oxfordshire is joining as well. Marilyn, these are going to go quickly. If you want them, be very, very quick. They are flying out, uh, so be as quick as you can. Sonia joins us in Greater London. Jane is in Norfolk. Marilyn's in Nottinghamshire. Check out, check out, check out, check out because there are only 32 opportunities. I don't nag about checking out, as you know, so that's not me nagging, that's me just saying there are only 32. You've got to be quick, got to be quick. We've got a lot of people there. Jackie, Angela, Gabrielle, Sonia, Collector, Anne-Marie, Gillian, a collector in Staffordshire. Oh, my word, it's a race to the finish for your Tans Night. It's a Tans Night gold rush. Yee-haw! <laughs> Actually, we were just talking about, we've just seen a picture What's that show you're going to in a couple of weeks' time? Um, the Nidderdale Agricultural the Show. The Nidderdale yes. Agricultural Show. Um, uh, Katie is uh, uh, showing her uh, guinea pigs at the show. No, she isn't. Um, but we saw, we saw, <laughs> didn't we, uh, on the publicity, on the website for it, camel racing. Like yeah. real camels. I was unaware of this fact, but I must go and have a Did look. Did you at say it. you'd seen camel racing before? No, I haven't. I think it was Phil. Was it was you, Phil? Saying that he'd seen Phil it, has yeah. seen camel racing before. <laughs> Didn't you see sheep racing or something? Um, yeah, when I lived in Canada, uh, when yeah. you go to the rodeos, they have the children going on on the sheep on the as sheep. opposed to the bull riders. So, yeah. Yeah. On the sheep, on, on the real sheep. On sheep, yeah, yeah. They let them out of the stalls, and they've got all. I mean, they've all got protective like clothing yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. And then they just go across the arena. And we were saying there's probably a bit more to hold on to with a sheep, isn't there? Now, stop it. I've told you about this. Uh, six minutes <laughs> past six on a Sunday evening of all times. We're going to play a new game tonight as well, by the way. I didn't even tell oh, you about you, this, no, Katie, did I? No. In fact, I, I refused to tell Phil about it. Well, Phil was like, no, you, you can't play a game without running it by me first. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what? Once we're in and live, that's it, four hours, we're going. <laughs> you know me, I, I, I can't be doing with, uh, you know, passing it all through management and all that kind of gubbins, because they'll just say no. <laughs> so what's the fun in that, Katie? Well, exactly. No fun in that, is there? So uh, we're going to be playing a, a brand new game a little bit later on. Well done. Um, I think they've all gone. Uh, another cheeky new in from my new in tea bar. Oh, I've got a Shibori bundle. Um, Phil uh, wants, wants you to see these because he thinks they're a little wedding-like. 
Oh, now look. Creaminess. Oh, nice. Creamy shibori. Mm. Oh, it's just lovely words, isn't it? Creamy shibori. And you've got a lovely white shibori there as well. Now, I haven't done even lesson one in shibori so far, Katie. Okay. So, so I'm looking for some guidance from one of our <laughs> star guest designers here. Yeah. What do, what do we do? Well, um, if you've got some backing fabric or felt right. or anything like that, you can um, sew it onto onto that, and then you would then bead over the top within it. Yeah. Oh. Or, yeah. So you could use the ah. creases and things like that in there. In fact, the crystal that we've got in the very first kit will go impeccably with this. Yes, Absolutely. you're right actually for, for mother of the here comes the bride. Sorry, here comes the bride. <laughs> um, we've got lots of baskets already actually uh, of this one. £14.95. and pence. You're getting a lot of this actually aren't you? Half, half, only got a hundred. Only got a hundred and then they are gone. I need, I need to do a show with Linda, don't I? A full Shibori show. Mm. Because um, uh, Shibori and Cinemae are two things so far. I even had to ask you, didn't I, about yeah. Cinemae in the break? Because I saw a little advert for, was it the DVD for Cinemae in the break? But this, I mean, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It is brilliant, isn't it? Because it's got, it's got I mean, I, I sell fashion um, elsewhere. And actually, we do this lovely range, which has sort of like a permacrinkle to it. Um, blouses that are, are made of a full sort of permacrinkle. Um, and when you, when you bring it out, it always comes back. Mm. To its, to its same shape. So it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous texture. You couldn't create that any other way, could you, no. really? You couldn't artificially create it, really, could you? Not really, no. I mean, this is, this is done now, I believe. It's done with, like, the silks, and they, they literally just crush it up together. Yeah. Wind it all up. These ones, I don't know, obviously, the cream one's probably been dyed, but I don't know about the white one. Yeah. Um, but then sometimes they will put them through a dye, so then it's a bit like a tie-dye effect. It's stunning. So then when you open it up, when it's got the colours in it, it's got all oh, different. So but yes. this is perfect for bridal. I mean, um, I think Linda did a swan yesterday with oh, seed wow. beads. So this would be absolutely amazing to go with that kit. That's fabulous, isn't it? Well, I've got, I've got lots and lots of these in baskets, so do make sure you check them out as quickly as you possibly can. So this is 100% silk then, um, Phil. That's amazing. That's really, really good. Mm. And actually, Phil, Phil is telling me when you're, when you're looking for suppliers um, online for this, can be very, 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 very expensive indeed. Yeah. So we've got an amazing deal there for you um, at £14.95. and pence. That's pretty. I love the two colours as well. I mean, that cream is just delicious. And of course, layer them up together because that's a really, really lovely, soft, mm. almost like a parchment paper kind of cream, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. That's I like it. £14.95. and pence. That's lovely, isn't it? It's almost like, um, you know when you get um, petals on some plants that, that do that slight sort of, um, not, not shriveling, but uh, like a um, ruching, Roosh, isn't yeah. it? Ruch, that's it. It's wonderful. £14.95. Well done, Kimmy and Janice and Shirley and Sally and, and Susan and Collector in the West Midlands, Jeannie and Aberdeenshire, Collector in Merthyr Tidville, Carolyn in County Londonderry, good evening to you. That's amazing. And you remember, you're getting half a yard of each of those and they are just beautiful I mean if you are creating fascinators for you know that day at the races mm. or you know it doesn't need to be even bridal to be honest with you. it could be any kind of you know grand occasion maybe maybe you get that invitation to go and have tea at the uh, in the palace gardens that would be nice <laughs> wouldn't it oh yes that please. would be nice although I always think I, I, you probably need to be a little bit taller to carry off the you know the top hat and tails thing Although a top hat that gives you about another foot, yeah. doesn't it? So that's pretty good. That's all right. Fourteen ninety-five. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Always thinking. Always thinking. Check, 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 check. Check out that one. Congratulations. Brand new in today. Um, it is delicious. Right. Now it's time for a last chance on some blue pearls. Take me dancing, lick it in the rain. Do you remember that was Blue Pearl? That was the name of the group. That's why I had a little sing of that. Do you remember that? Remember that, Katie? I do remember that, yes. Phil doesn't. Phil doesn't remember that. <laughs> Phil's far too young for that. Do you not remember that, Phil? <laughs> Blue freshwater pearl. No. Right, how many, Phil? Right, eight strands. So, quickest oh. eight to get there. Beautiful. It's a lovely electric blue, isn't it? This could be your something, something blue for the wedding, couldn't it? 
this could be that something blue. And again, in headpieces, I always think that, you know, really striking like electric colours would be beautiful, wouldn't they? Absolutely amazing. What did I miss then? No, me. I, I was just saying, why am I here? I should be at home. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are gorgeous, aren't they? Six left. Jennifer, well done. You've got two of them. Maureen, Carolyn, Jenny. Count yourselves down. Quickly, quickly, quickly. If you think you're going to miss out, by the way, you will. But if you have a go, you might just make it. You might just uh, limbo under the pole. Uh, not pole, no bar. A pole stands north-south. A bar is horizontal. <laughs> Absolute, as we all know. How do we know that? Uh, Gloria in Merthyr Tipville. Well done, congratulations. It's not true what they say about Merthyr either, is it? No. No, it's not at not all. not true. Last one. Last one. Congratulations. Well done, you. Good work. Right, Carnelian now. <gasps> hubba, 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 Katie. This is oh, your colour. Oh, this really is your that. colour, if ever there was one. It's Carnelian. Massively collectible. We're playing a new game tonight, by the way. Probably in the next hour. Um, 350 carats of carnelian faceted rounds. Not staying at 11.95. We should be because you know how collectible carnelian is, Phil. Ridiculous. Here we go. This is why I love a late show. It's like <laughs> it's like live and unleashed, isn't it? I love it. It's brilliant. Special the weekend because there's no one here. I, exactly. I mean, and Phil and I aren't here now for uh, a week after today's show, at least. Well, nor um, am I, so let's, no. let's go for it. We're going to break some rules big time. And, of course, the nine-to-fivers, they're nowhere to be seen, are they, until Tuesday? No, yeah. We'll be long gone by then. Something else will have happened by then. Absolutely. <laughs> there'll be a, yeah, there'll be another catastrophe in between now and then. <laughs> Not a problem. Nobody, no one will remember ours. <laughs> Six ninety-five. Well done, Sandra and Philippa and Jill. And Olienka, congratulations. Uh, Gloria's back again from Merthyr, well done. 695, aren't they lustrous? Like an orange disco. I like it. It's a little bit fire opal as well, isn't it, actually? Yeah. I mean, can you imagine what the price would be a fire opal at these sizes? Oh, doesn't bear thinking about. Uh, might be 695 per bead if you were lucky. Um, but that's brilliant. Well done, congratulations. Uh, Oli Inca joining us in Greater London. Two of these coming your way. Uh, Susan's checked out as well in Bristol, well done. Jill in Sussex, hello, hello, hello. Uh, it's the dynamic duo, says uh, Evelyn. Uh, yes, another fantastic show. The best crew as well this evening. I'm in for the duration. Oh, thanks, Mum. Is that your mum? <laughs> I was going to ask you about your mum. Is she all right? Yeah, she's good. Is, yeah. that, is that your mum texting in? Yes, I oh, is. Oh, Evelyn. Yeah. Lovely. You should be here. You should be here in front of the monitor. You know, out, out in the kitchen. You have to come and do a show with Katie one day. <laughs> Get your little girl to behave. No chance, though, is there? No chance. <laughs> Given up on that a long time ago, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm glad that you are around, though, which is brilliant. Uh, bless you. Mwah. There you go. Big kiss from me as well. So, amethyst now. Beautiful, beautiful amethyst. Look at the depth of them. Ooh. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. I bet there is a black currant bush somewhere in Ivy House's garden. No! Wow. No, 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 no. Do you know the price amethyst sells for? I mean, ha, ha, this is your only, this is like a bank holiday boom. Is this like a flash sale that's going on, Phil, that, that we haven't told anybody about? Good though, isn't it? Very good. 3.95 is ridiculous. Uh, Restrand that, you've got two bracelets, you've made your money back straight away. Mm. It's going to be a keeper though, when you get this and, and you just want to enjoy it. This is the kind of strand that I like having, hanging up in the garden, actually. You know, just letting the sun stream through it yeah. and enjoying the colour. Because it's not a colour you see in the garden very often, unfortunately, unless you have got, you know, um, fruit bushes. Yeah. You've been, uh, you've been foraging today, haven't you, Leah, in the, in the garden as well? She's been rummaging through the bushes. Uh, she's got some blackberries. She's been scrumping as well with the apples. There might be a blackcurrant bush as well. But, but she's just got to get through the brambles to get there. There probably is in Ivy House Garden, isn't there, I would imagine. We might even have a gooseberry bush, if you're lucky. Who knows? Who knows? That's not, I was just, do you know what, I was, no, that's not a tech subject, that, is it? No, not at all. What are you two giggling at now? Nothing. Nothing, that's all right then. 
You know the naughty steps. It's empty. Yes, I know. It's I've, empty. I've been on there before. So. It's empty and ready. <laughs> 130 carrots, poor Leah's crying. You just had some bad news, Leah. Oh, she's giggling, that's what it is. Three notes, Sheila in Surrey, well done. A couple of these coming your way. Well, you've got to laugh, it's bank holiday, isn't it? Hey, what's this? Have we fooled the universe, by the way? Because it's a bank holiday rain, uh, Monday, uh, Sunday, uh, and it's not pouring down with rain. What's going on? What's going on, though? <laughs> Is it going to stay until Monday? Are we going to have I nice weather so. tomorrow? If I, I get back so. to North Yorkshire tomorrow and it buckets down, then I will not be pleased. Because <laughs> um, I've got a, a few clippings to take care of as well tomorrow. Three ninety-five. well done. Got some clippings to do. Uh, oh, did I just hear that right? 13, did you say? 13? 14? Did Mike just invite you on a walk, uh, woodland walk, Phil? Wow. Crikey. Yeah. There's a, fi there's a fine line between um, colleague and stalker, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to take Phil on a walk, woodland walk. That's all right. Good luck. I don't... Well, I've just got the that plot, song thickens, going the plot my head thickens, now. Mike. <laughs> this is turning into a whole new conversation, isn't it? I don't think we'll share it with dear viewer. Uh, 330 carats of Kunzite nuggets right now for you. We're in the uh, uh, really uh, inappropriately named gemstone family. Family. I don't, what's wrong with me? I can't speak. <laughs> Spod you mean? What? Spod you mean? Spod you mean? That's the family, yes. Katie. I know, but it's just wrong though, it's isn't not, it? That's yeah. not sexy, is it? No. Spod you mean? Spod you mean? It doesn't. It's, it sounds like a cream for something, doesn't it? Spod you mean? Spod you mean? You know those things <laughs> we were talking about earlier. It's, it sounds like a cream to <laughs> yes, rub. Yes, it does. Yeah, yes, doesn't yes. it? <laughs> that sounds even worse yeah. than actually what, what we were talking about. <laughs> oh dear. We'll probably have to explain that later. Uh, anyway, <laughs> four night to management. Four ninety-five. Four pounds ninety for Kunzite, Phil. This is the big bank holiday giveaway, isn't it? It's not like one of those sofa sales as well that you know that ends at five o'clock on a Sunday and starts again on a Monday morning at nine o'clock. Must end Sunday at five, and then it starts again Monday morning, doesn't it? Like, yeah. Hello. Don't know when to buy a sofa, can you? There's no safe time to buy a sofa, is there? No. None at all. That's why I've still got the one that's the same one that's 15 years old. Just trying to find that tiny that tiny <laughs> safe moment when it's okay to buy a sofa. Oh, it's such a boring thing to oh, shop no, for as well, is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, how tedious. How tedious. And you never sit on a sofa at home like that, do you? And no. Sit, sit there and just go, oh yes, this is nice. Yeah, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> Never. You just you just go and slouch in a corner, don't you? Take your blanket with you. Yeah, it's very true. Like, the same with beds, isn't it? People don't sit on the edge of beds, do they, to go no. to sleep? But that's what you do in a shop, isn't it? I just you do you do this. Sorry, Mike. You do this. You do this thing where you just go. Oh, it's comfy. Yeah. You're like, but it's not a seat. It's a bed. You're lying on it, not sitting on it. Did the coffee shop spell your name right today, Doric? Says Julie. Uh, do you know what? Actually, today I have, a, I have a different... I'm not advertising for anyone, but I didn't go to the major coffee shop today. I went to the, the takeaway that also does coffee because I wanted one of their ice creams today, if truth be told, because it's a sunny day and I'm a six-year-old boy at heart, so I had to get an ice cream. You know one of those that's all whipped up and fluffy and whatever. Fluffy? Fluffy, fl flurry thing, yeah, flurry, you know. Yeah. Other ice creams are available. <laughs> what? Well, just remind me. In my, are we done with that? Sorry. Amber, um, that's just reminded me. What did it remind me of? <clears throat> oh, I've got a double magnum, magnum peanut butter in my freezer at home. <gasps> oh, lovely. Oh. Oh. Other ice creams are available. Previously, where? Oh, right. We've got an amber pendant now for you, which has previously been sold at 12.95 but we are going let me show you the back as well i love these look it's like a lovely sunshine 
in the back. Lowest ever price, LEP, 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 LEP. How many, how many do we have? Be quick, because it's not massive numbers. It's the lowest ever price. You are basically getting, if you wanted to, pretty much two for the price of one. Pretty much. Mm. It's not far off. Which for Baltic Amber is ridiculous. Simple, simple chain in that loop there, or wire worked in, that'd yeah. be amazing. Two for earrings, because they would sit beautifully at the front. Even if you just connected that with a jump ring to a shepherd mm. Turk, that would sit beautifully, full on. And can you sort of see the echo of the silver design coming yeah. through the amber as well? It's transparent enough to see. I personally would wear it the other way around. Would you? Yeah. Right, OK, let's go the other way around I know Katie. it's not meant to be that way. And no, but there's know, nothing wrong with seeing the... Well, the, this big thing... I was looking yeah. at your earrings, actually, when you came in today. And you reminded me about those back front earrings. You know where you have a bead at the back and the front? Yes. So yeah. one kind of appears from under your ear kind mm. of thing. It's wonderful, isn't it? Just when you think you've seen it all, Katie, along comes a new fad fashion thing. <laughs> like it. Which way round will you have it then? Uh, hello, Ruth in Yorkshire. Um, hello, and don't forget to turn around. Uh, collector in... Oh, that's sea beading. Hang on. Uh, collector in Glamorgan, well done. Collector in Hampshire, well done. Collector in Lincolnshire. Uh, tiny wit. In fact, lots and lots of new bidders who are joining us. Bidders, this is not an auction. Uh, viewers, customers, whatever you call yourselves. Um, if you spend more, no, more than four ninety five, by the way, on your first order, excluding PMP, you'll get our Jewelry Maker Welcome Pack. And inside it, there's an essential uh, beading kit there. There's three pairs of pliers. There's a finding kit. So there's a DVD. There's something I can't tell you about, which is really good. Um, and there's some project cards and all sorts. So if you're a new viewer, oh, I tell you what, you're loving it. And if you're an existing Existing viewer wanting one of these cases, and how many, how many of, how many existing viewers want to have one of these in their lives? I am nagging to the highest heights. I promise you to try and get those on screen for you to be able to um, get hold of. I am, I'm doing everything that is all I can do, because I am Mr. Fillin, you know. So I don't have the hugest influence here, but I have been all the way to the top and beyond. I've been all the way up to the attic to see the master. Uh, 6.95 sounds wrong as well, doesn't it? <laughs> 6.95. I've been up to Colin's office. Let's just leave it there. Uh, Laura in Leicestershire says, I tried our new bed out, laid flat out. Uh, due to my back issues, I couldn't get up, so I had to have help from the staff. Uh, think think up, up, turn <laughs> turtle. Oh, Laura, bless you. Oh, oh that's bless. That's nice, is it? Uh, the only benefit to my hugely overgrown back garden, says Gabrielle in County, County Durham, uh, a great haul of brambles today. My fingers are now the colour of those amethysts. Oh, <laughs> bless you. You have to do what I do, because I have to try and keep my nails in some kind of reasonable order. I always put those, you know those nursey silicone gloves on? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Those ones that you snap on, a bit like the Ceralune gloves, uh, but they're not blue. Uh, Derek, you're not half as cheeky on the sewing quarter, uh, are you? Keep it coming, says Sally in Lincolnshire. That's very true, I have to behave on the sewing quarter. <laughs> but no, no, they're not strict, Phil. It's just first thing in the morning. It's difficult to, uh, it's difficult to get yeah, going first uh... thing in the morning. I'm not really a morning person, <laughs> which is why I've never been asked to do the morning show. And actually, that's fine by me. That's, that's actually, absolutely <laughs> fine, because that means being here when? Seven? Yeah. Seven in the morning. See, seven in the morning. There shouldn't be a seven in the morning. <laughs> Just one in the evening. Let's do box 11 now. Silver pearls, silver <laughs> pearls. Oh, nice harmonies there, Katie. I'm liking it. <laughs> Bank that for Christmas. <laughs> Lovely. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Little X, Phil uh, suggesting a little X Factor audition. The thing is, nobody watches that kind of stuff anymore, do they? Because you know they're always mean? watching Jewelry Maker, that's Absolutely. Why. Just tosh, <laughs> in my personal opinion. Not that of Immediate Media TV Limited. Um, um, silver Freshwater Pearls now. These would go nicely with our oh, blues, actually, wouldn't they? Blue and silver would be really, really nice. Did mm. you say natural, Phil? Natural as in not coloured? Really? Because obviously the blue ones were dyed. I mean, there's something wrong with the oyster if they come out that colour. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got a dose of the... Uh, no. You know. Uh, last ten. What do you mean, no? I wasn't no. going to say that. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Uh, 8.95. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll give it some spodumene, it'll be fine. Uh, last 10 chances. Natural. That's, do you know what? And, and someone, has mm. to, someone has to sort all of these out. Do you know what I mean? Sort out the wheat from the chaff. Um, and size grade and colour grade. And you're talking about millions of pearls. Because when they do a harvest, you know, it's not like at the moment, you know, where you get stuck behind a combine harvester on the, uh, on the A roads. It's not like one of those. We need no. to, though. We're not complaining, farmers. We love you. We love you. Uh, we just wish your combine harvester would go a little bit faster than 20 miles an hour. You know what I mean? <laughs> They always go for miles, don't they? Can I tell the viewers, Phil? Okay, Phil says, would you like to hear a joke about a combine, combine harvester? It was ed at the Edinburgh Festival, so it must be funny then, mustn't it? W, oh, hang on. Say combine harvesters, and you'd have one massive restaurant. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Phil is easily pleased, isn't he? That was, that was good. Isn't he? I'm banking that one. Yes, I'd love one, Sam, my darling, please. Thank you. <laughs> my, my usual, please, if you would. Double, double do bonnet, just like the Queen. Mm. No, already this early in proceedings? Good Lord. It's only 6.28 and it's time for one of these. See, that's a good one, Phil, actually. During that sting, I could, we could all hear Phil's cogs turning, and he's given me an idea for a gag to tell you. But I, I won't do it until the moment is just, you know, just so. Yeah, the thing about comedy, it's all about timing. Well, that's not true, actually, entirely. Sometimes it's about catching the eye of the right person around you. Leah. Um, <laughs> Right, it's our rice pearls. Now, what I would say, can they see the price on the web already, Phil? Right, you can see a price. What can they see? Right, you can see 8.95 on the web. Trust us. We're going to play the game of trust here. Get it into your basket right now. And if you are calling, call now. Don't wait for this one. The price that's showing on the web at the moment pre-crash is $8.95. We're not staying there. And actually, if you were around last night and saw something not a million miles dissimilar, it's not going to be that price either. Yes. So, start dialing now. 0800 644 655. Believe us when we say, the rice is right. <laughs> oh, dear. Whew. We should have a little tumble with... Yeah, well, remember, on Wednesday, we caused poor Deb uh, Briggs to uh, spit her tea over the TV. And that was all about a plant. Just a, a, an innocent plant. <laughs> That's the price that you can see on your, scr on your uh, webs. Webs? That reminds me. Wow. Now, that was not, that was meant to be the same price as the rice beads, pearl, pearl beads, strand thing that we had yesterday. Remember yesterday's was meant to be 6 95 and it went to 5 95 Today's was meant to be 5 95 and it's gone to 4 95 Don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, Lena in uh, Delano, well done. Claire, congratulations. Just grab these. We've got, again, same stock as we had yesterday uh, for a similar rice bead strand, uh, 150 available. So it's 150 at 495 That price could revert to where it's meant to be, which I guess is probably that 895 is it, Phil? Yeah. Okay, so it's meant to be at 895 Again, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea. I wasn't, I wasn't sent a memo. I didn't get an email to say, you know, what today is a 40, 50, 60% off kind of day, event, no. mini, flashed, crash, sale, whatever. You know, that didn't happen, did it, Katie? No, going down it, to Barking Town. We are, aren't we? Uh, call Constable Keith Price of the Price Police, please. And uh, get him in here straight away, because there's something going on that needs investigating. Angela in East Sussex, congratulations, three of these coming your way. Thank you so much for joining us, because you could be out. You could be out in the garden, couldn't you? You could be rumming through your gooseberry bush right now, because it's a nice sunny day, isn't it? I have to tell you, my apples are very rosy. 
um, in my garden at home. They are, they are absolutely, they're beautiful. They're like ruby red. I'll take a picture of those tomorrow as well. No. And for those of you who haven't got, oh, I, I must show you actually, for those people, not, not that this is my phone at all in any way, shape or form, <laughs> I wouldn't like you to think that I've got my mobile in the studio because that just would not be, oh, remind us at seven mm. o'clock we need to do our showbiz pose oh, right, yes. for the okay. next time that we're on together because we, we have to do that. Now just for those of you who don't have um, Facebook, I did make a promise on Wednesday's show when I was with um, Joe Barkley Logie uh, that I would take a picture of my Venus flytrap. And there it is. There it is. And I shall never poke one again. Never poke it. Never. Because you know what happens. Yes, I know. I, I heard yesterday and I, I must admit, yeah, I've done that That's sometimes. what everyone does. <laughs> it's all right. There are other plants, okay? You, can do, you know that plant where you stroke the leaves and they all close up? Yeah. That's fine. You can do that with that, but with a Venus, because if it closes yeah. and it's got nothing to digest, it's just waiting. And waiting. Oh, I don't really make to feel terrible. And then it goes, <laughs> nothing to digest. I will never do it again. That's like starving a Venus flytrap. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's like, okay. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, it's good to learn <laughs> these things later in life, isn't it, really? Uh, never, never, never too late to learn, is it? Uh, Mandy says, evening, Derek, Katie and crew, still giggling over the whole picture of the Venus flytrap thing. Yeah. You, you uh, have a look on my Facebook page and that is all explained, by the way, if you weren't here. And you had to be here on Wednesday, but you can <laughs> relive it on the YouTube. It's very funny. The whole show on Wednesday was just a riot. Um, good afternoon from Washington, D.C. Hello, Tracy. Ooh. Enjoying the show. Fantastic. How's the weather in Washington, D.C., Tracy? Because hasn't Washington had a, a... Well, the U.S. has had a bit of a funny turn, hasn't mm. it, weather-wise? Um, I can go one funnier. If bored in um, Ikea, other shops are available. Well done, Laura, for, for getting that in as well. Climb out of a wardrobe and say aloud, Narnia's not as nice as you'd think, Don Snow. That's brilliant. <laughs> that That's is, the kind yeah. of thing you do, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Or I but, just wait for somebody to open the wardrobe and go, boom! That, that is the kind of thing. I could just see. I could never go to that store with Katie Reid. You know what I mean? No way. You'd just be ashamed, wouldn't you? Be like, oh no, I'm sorry, we can't take her anyway. Four ninety-five. <laughs> that is brilliant. That's a good idea, that is though. Good, yeah. You've just given. Uh, you've just I'm given this that one, one as ideas. Well. Yeah, exactly. Watch out if you ever go to that store. And please remember to follow the, follow the arrows. They put them there for a reason, you know. <laughs> so you don't miss a thing. Oh, try to imagine it. I, I like all the little cut throughs in yeah. there. I think that's it. You're not, you're not getting me. I'll take my sat nav. Look at this. It looks like it's got a little heart in the centre, doesn't it? It does the, actually, uh, isn't inclusions. it? That's the, um, the quench crackling yeah. going on there, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, was, was that you, Phil, making that noise? Was it? Very good. Um, Phil, was, uh, Phil was making a, well, I don't know, like a... I think it was. I think it was a quenching noise. But but you know the noise that amber makes when it is quenched, crackled. Phil, there's nothing like that. It's nothing like licking your lips. It's nothing like that. It goes pop. It goes <laughs> like that. That's how. It, oh, sorry, Katie. <laughs> Katie just taking a mouthful of water. Then I really shouldn't. Have <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> all right then? Yeah. Sorry. Timing. All about timing is. It is, isn't it? Eight ninety-five <clears throat> for amber. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? I love amber. And look at the decorative uh, mill grain edging, mm. which has been oxidised as well, which gives it a little bit of depth as well, doesn't it? Gives it a little bit of depth, doesn't it? Love it. Beautiful. Eight pounds ninety-five pence. Please be as quick as you possibly can. Um, now. Coming up at 7 o'clock is our first kit tonight, which is called Here Comes the Bride. SMGC 10, Mike. SMGC 10. Um, and here it is. It's wire-tastic, and it's got the most beautiful Swarovski, and they're called... Um, there's a white opal large drop, and you also get, also get some oval... Uh, dentel, is that the name of the shape? 
They're like little oval cut yeah. gemstones, aren't they? They're beautiful. Mm. Um, they're coming. And some gold coloured silver plated copper wire. And I was playing with some spools of that in the office earlier, and it's so luscious. So luscious. Um, right, okay, well done on the amber. Congratulations. Let's move on. Oh, do you know what I was looking at that, Phil? It is like we are psychically linked sometimes, because I'll, I'll stare at a strand while I'm waiting for you to tell me the number, and it's nigh on always the one that I'm looking at. How strange is that? Right, you ready to play this new game soon, then? Yeah, I'm dying new to game. know what it is. But... Shall I tell you the name of the game? Go on, then. Mars Barbara Windsor. Seven pounds and 95 pence. For aquamarine? For aquamarine with colour, hello. Yeah. Most aquamarine these days is like window glass. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can see straight through it. There's a That's little, beautiful. you might just get a little tiny wisp. A little passing fleeting glance of a blue, but this is beautiful. In fact, it's, it's almost like Larimar blue. It's so mm. distinct. And yet you've still got, you've got the most beautiful shapes. Um, actually, if you're, if, you have, if you're lucky enough to have some aquamarine beads to alternate between these um, centre drilled slices and round beads together, mm. oh, it just gives you such gravity, doesn't it? 7.95, ridiculous. It's a bank holiday weekend, so this is the opportunity, guilt-free, I would say, this weekend, to just enjoy some phenomenal, phenomenal price tags. Were you talking to yourself? Yes, then? I was. Were you? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's all right. I'll leave you to it then, as far as you're having a chat with yourself. <laughs> I was just about to ask you a question, but if you're busy, then... Uh, uh, Brenda says, evening, everyone. Can I see a close-up of Katie's necklace, please? Sorry. I did wonder what that was going to say then. Uh, here it is. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Thank you. Are they turquoise? No, they are. How light? Um, pearl. It's a faceted shell pearl, yes. Is it? Yeah. You'd never know yeah. that that wasn't an absolutely perfect matrixless turquoise. Mm. Turquoise. Yeah, I, I've had these in the kit a long time ago, so this was one of my makes. Nice. Okay. Like it, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And what and what are the beads? Um, it's black spinel and uh, dyed quartz rondelles. Do you know what? That's so nice, isn't it? Because you you almost would think that that was um, indicolite tourmaline mm. and a bit of black diamond in between. It's a nice combination, that actually, isn't it? Um, Seven ninety five. There you are, Brenda. So, oh, is it? <clears throat> oh, right. Sorry. Do you know, I thought you said star by then. It sounded like star by, didn't it? Right. Okay. Um, Phil thinks this may be the lowest price you've seen on a Morganite strand, possibly in all your days with JM. 300 carats, mega strand. No, oh. no, 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 no. That's, no. 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 Wrong on every level. That's the price of like a, you know, readily available shell kind of strand. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Shell shapes, which are beautiful and lovely and they've still had work done to them. But, the, the, but this is Morganite from the Beryl family. The same gemstone family as the Aquamarine. And if you wanted to mix up, mix up, mix up the Aquamarine and the uh, Morganite... They would work together, and they're the same gemstone family. Ten That's left. Amazing. It's a race to the finish, so it's not one of those where you think, oh, it's all right, I'll pick it up the next time it's on. You can't. There's just ten. There's just ten. Claire's got two. Sheila's got two. Linda's got one. Michelle's got one. I've got room for um, five or six of you. Philippa, you've got one. Well done. Claire in West Yorkshire, if you check out, you've got yours. Charlotte in Lancashire, if you check straight out, you've got yours as well. Two, four, five, six, seven. Quickly, quickly, just the last couple just to go now. 395. 395. We did, we, we did, in fairness, Mike, we did warn yesterday, didn't we? Phil did warn us yesterday that, um, that tonight would be that kind of. Um, uh, Brenda says it's lush. Oh, thank Your you. Your necklace, very much, thank Brenda. you for the close up. It is, it's lovely. Thank you. Very, very nice. Um, it's gorgeous. 
395, sorry, gone. <laughs> gone, 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 gone. Gone, 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 gone. It's a distant memory. Do you know, I was just picking it up, Phil. I was just picking, well, I didn't know that, to be honest, because, you know, I have, I have a terrible memory. Phil says it's one of the only things left in the box. Um, but, yes, but I've got all of this as well. It's like a carnival going on here, like a gemstone carnival going on in here tonight. We haven't seen this. Wow. The last time this strand... This strand has not been seen for two years and seven months. How many have you got, Phil? Fourteen. <sighs> Uncle Carl in the warehouse be going nuts. We have to get it out. We have to, it has to be gone. Half price for you. Wow. Take mm. it and run. We got how many? 14. 14. 14 available. Take it and run. Take it and run. Beautiful. That's brilliant. And they're really useful sizes. We've left it. No, I can't believe we've left it there so long. Yeah, I know. Perfect for a tiara for your yeah, weddings. It definitely. would be. Beautiful. And you can make little flowers out of that as well if you mm. wanted to. Put them all together as petals or, you know, a nice daisy with a, a nice sort of um, a yellow, um, oh, what would you have in the middle? Citrine? Yes, or, or an agate that was a little bit more uh, for, I don't know what I was looking at, by the way. Just having a little, you know, having a little <laughs> muse. That's what you're, when you're looking for an answer, you look that way, don't you? Four and a half contemplating life's rich tapestry, Mike. That's all I was doing. Uh, collector <laughs> in the Outer Hebrides. Uh, good afternoon to you. Jeanette in Devon. Jeanette with a G. Uh, Claire in County Durham. Nice to see you. Jenny in Cardiff. Philippa, Philippa in Bristol. Sue J in Suffolk. Sally in Hampshire. Linda in North Yorkshire. All busy, 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 busy grabbing this now. Uncle Carl will be pleased. Half yeah. price, though. Oh, no, that's amazing. Half Absolutely. price. Box number six. Oh, one of my favourite, favourite gemstones. I just love this gemstone. Do you know you can pay such fortunes for this gemstone as well? Oh, they're lovely. I was, who was I speaking to? Was it you, Phil, yesterday? Who was I speaking to? I was speaking to... We were just having a general conversation yesterday. And there's... No, I wasn't talking to myself, Phil. Um, I, well, I, I assume you were listening. Um, and I was saying, this is one of the gemstones that the prices we charge you make no sense whatsoever, even to us as a company. Can you mm. see they're, they're double faceted as That's well? Beautiful. So they've got mm. um, coulets on both sides. Double coulet action. And they are as clean as a whistle. They're, I mean, they're very, very low inclusion um, factor on these. I'm trying to hold them um, as still as I can for you, but can you Absolutely. see? They are beautiful. Oh, now that's put me under pressure. A close shot. Trying to hold them still. It's because I'm on the telly, you see. <laughs> Nervous when I'm on the telly. Wow. Oh, my. See, this is, honestly, Phil, if you saw the price that, I mean, I, I've told you before, I'm sure, I've got a member of my family who has a pair of um, green amethyst earrings they were bought as a birthday gift. Um, and they're not particularly big carat weights, to be honest with you. And they are set in gold, in fairness. Um, but they were something like a couple of hundred pounds. And that's for two stones and some, some gold. Um, and you have so many stones on it, and they're so deliciously vibrant. And actually, these will stand out even more. Because they've got that double coulet, you see the way they sort of stand relief? So if you're actually, you've got these on the neckline, they mm. are actually sort of standing proud. Do you know what I mean? And the glow that comes off them is absolutely oh, amazing. It is wonderful. Yeah. And you get that same kind of glow onto skin mm. tone as well, which is wonderful. It's so flattering and it's such an unusual gemstone. And do you know what? Can I just tell you something? I know this is very, very good quality material, 
but essentially amethyst is green quartz so it is quite abundant to be honest with you which is why it, it drives me bonkers sometimes at the prices people pay for their made up jewellery in green amethyst because it doesn't need to be mm. because if you can buy this kind of quantity for this kind of price tag I mean I think seriously mm. if you, you look at price tags in high streets if you can find it and you could return on one single piece the whole strand mm. Yeah. Even if you sit yourself reasonably between your own cost price um, and some of the, I am going to say, extortionate price tags that I see for green amethyst jewellery. is one of those that I'm quite passionate about, actually. Um, and usually when I say I'm not knocking anyone, but actually, in, in this case, I probably am, actually, if, uh, if truth be told. Um, because green amethyst, it's, you know, it's, it's quartz, and quartz is a readily available gemstone. Yes, there are differing qualities, etc., etc., but people are paying the price for they're paying ruby prices for quartz gemstones mm. and I think stop it okay Derek said uh, Phil said we um, we get the message now move on Derek move on off your soapbox um, here comes in Phil's opinion and if Phil says it it must be true uh, the best price star buy of the entire day Take a deep breath. <gasps> okay, you let it out now. It's fine. You don't have to keep it. Mike, Mike let it out as a yawn. There. <laughs> um, on the web, you're already seeing this price here, and this is for side drilled cultured pearls. Fabulous. Natural seven by six nuggets. We're blowing that price out of the water. This is possibly going to be the lowest price tag star buy you've seen the whole weekend. Phil saying it might be ever. <gasps> mm -mm. I have never seen pearls at that price. Mm -hmm. Real pearls. <laughs> Real pearls. Now, we're not sniffy about shell pearls. We love our shell pearls as well, but these are real. How long's the strand? These are real. It is a 39. Right, so you, you could get a good few of them and make yourself a lovely little sort of like flapper necklace, oh, you know. Yeah, that would be beautiful, actually. At We've got 200 pearls. and oh. that's it. 200 in the quantity and that's it. Get in touch now. Uh, 40 have gone already straight away. Jump on the phone lines 0800 6 treble 4 6 double 5. There will be a queue on the phone lines but uh, well actually no you'll probably be alright actually because most of you are doing it on the web. Most of you are doing it on the web. Um, I've got Isabel in Surrey who's come through on the telephone lines. Everybody else is is B B B B B which is basket isn't it? B yeah. is basket isn't it? Yes, so everyone's got it getting into their basket. Lots of people checking them straight out as well. Congratulations. How ridiculous. That's a secret Santa prize. Here, have a pearl necklace for secret, secret Santa. Do you know, you've just given me an idea because I've just been invited to a... Yes, yeah, Sue in London says that that's a mad price. She's, she's ruffling at it. Uh, it's a mad price. Ruffling. Good grief. I love that as well. Ruffling. Good grief. Good grief. <laughs> um, I've just been invited to a Secret Santa party. Oh. It's a showbiz party um, uh, in December. And, and you, have to, you have to take a Secret Santa. Oh, pearl necklace, Derek. I think, I think the budget is like £10. I could get these for two ninety five. Yeah. Couldn't I? Did, they did never know, would they? Never know. They were two ninety five, were they? I could get one. I could get one of my very, very good friend, jewellery guest designers to <laughs> run them up into very, very simple suite of. Oh, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Oh, bless you. It's a lovely offer, Katie. Uh, <laughs> two ninety five. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? That's amazing. How silly, do we do it? silly, silly. How many left, uh, Phil? Sally, she, I've, just got, I've got six. Nuggety, nuggety face pearls are ace. Six strands. Well done, Linda. Um, uh, uh, who was that before? Sally, that's right. Uh, Linda, hello, Linda. These were lovely with the wedding shibori. Mm. 
such a really good price. I'll remind you of the wedding shibori as well, actually. Yes, I'll bring it in. I'll bring it in and show you, and I'll get Phil to put the details down the bottom because there is still some of that available as well. Half a yard of the white silk and half a yard of the cream silk shibori for fourteen ninety-five. Yeah. Look at that. That would be a nice kit, actually, wouldn't it? it? Would, Just those yeah. three elements would make a lovely kit. Fifteen of the pearls. Oh, I thought we had. Oh, I thought we had a, a bit longer to talk about. You've been so quick. Wow. Oh, my word. Right, now, Philippa, Ingrid, Ginny, Susie, what's it? Uh, Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn. Evelyn's got a basket going on over here, you know. Yeah. Um, um, Patricia in the West Midlands, Judy in Lancashire, Amanda, Ruth, Kim, uh, Josephine, Lisa, Susan. Grab and grab and grab, but check them straight out. Check them out, check them out, check them out. Remember, you only pay one postage all day long. You check out 25 times, 50 times in the day. Not a problem whatsoever. You'll still just pay uh, one PMP. It's brilliant, isn't it? 295. I would have seen your name on here, wouldn't I? Definitely if it had you been yesterday. I certainly would have done, yeah, yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's brilliant. Congratulations, everyone. Um, congratulations. That's, that's it. So that, we say goodbye to that then. Um, we're going to do now number five. Ooh, this is a bigger strand than the one I had yesterday. If you remember the one that I had yesterday, because we were had a little discussion about chocolate coffee beans yesterday, didn't we? And eating too many before <laughs> bedtime. I'm wondering why you were still awake three weeks later. Um, this is bigger than the strand that we had yesterday. I mean, that one in the centre has got to be. If this is 115 carats across the strand, I would say that that middle ruby, that one there, that I'm just sort of laying down in the centre, that's got to be a 10 plus character, the mm. character, isn't it? Yeah. Now, oh, hang on, you've got the wrong... Oh, no, you haven't. That is the right detail. Sorry, beg your pardon. I saw rice beads and thought, oh, no, that's a pearl detail. Um, they are rice beads, aren't they? But in pearls. You don't see that very often, actually, no. do you? But you can really get to see the true character of ruby this way. When they're cut, um, when they're cut like a round shape, you get to see all of the silks and all of the personality of ruby. I think sometimes when it is a perfect, you know, um, I mean, there's no such thing really as a perfect ruby, is there, in terms of um, clarity. But when you get one that is, it does have great clarity, you lose a bit of character, actually, I yes, think, sometimes. Yeah. In gem set jewellery, that it's in gold mm. and everything else, I think sometimes you think, oh, oh, now. Mm. That's, I'm not really seeing the heart and soul of the no. ruby. But with this, you really, I mean, it's horses for courses. It's down to everyone's um, personal preference, I realise. But I really do think, especially um, this side of the strand here, um, I think you've got some amazing personality going on. They're beautiful. How? Could, could, um, uh, um, yes. Is, is that this one? This one here? We've got a bra Ooh. Oh. We've got a, a Shell Pearl Bundle Star Buy coming up in the next hour. Brand new. Coming up, in fact, coming up after the break. I think it's 50 of each. I think it's 50 in the white, 50 in the silver, and 50 in the peach. Uh, and uh, it's, one of, it's one of Phil's secret squirrel. That's coming up for you after the break and here comes the bride first kit it's coming up soon
You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I just realised that I was, uh, I was actually dad dancing to that on my own, sitting down. Like, like, yeah, you'd... Special moment, yeah, dancing. Yeah, to the star by sting. Maybe I need to get out on that sunshine a bit more. Right, here it is then. Here is your perfect, beautiful shell pearl bundle. We have ivory, we have white, and we have peach. Uh, pink, I beg your pardon. Um, and there are 50 of each. It is, uh, is this brand new? Brand new. We, we shouldn't have this. This is one of those that is only on our screens tonight because all three of us, after tonight's show, not to be seen for a wee while. Well, long enough, <laughs> long enough anyway. Eight ninety five makes these less than three pounds per strand. Wow! If you think about it, um, and they are brilliant. Three different colours for you to work with. Perfect, perfect bridal, as you know, and many other occasions as well. There are fifty beads on each strand, and they are oh, they are flying away straight away. And we have only two hundred. They have to go, the, the reason why Phil has priced them like this straight away is because they just have to go. We have to, there must be no evidence that this ever happened and the only way we can do that is by selling them out completely and utterly. So, um, you know, no pressure or anyone, I'm not here to pressure sell but um, these all have to go. So there you go, so I'm, I'm going to leave that with you um, at home. Corolla, well done. Isabel, uh, Marilyn, Philippa, um, Jackie, Jenny, Sharon, well done. Uh, Evelyn in Kent is joining us, well done. Francois, congratulations. Uh, Sharon in North Yorkshire, collector in Cumbria. Lady V in Lancashire. Kerry in Staffordshire, Rosalind in Devon. Just a few of the people who are getting involved right now. Remember, it's 200 and 200 only. That's it. Once they're gone, they are gone. There are 50 on each strand and they are going. Look at me, I'm <laughs> wafting them away. They're going. <laughs> It's working out at six pence per bead. Wow. Now, if you think about a pair of stud earrings for a second, I always, with any pearls, I always try and think, right, okay, how many pearls on the strand? How many pairs of stud earrings could you make? Um, and what would be your return? Now, if you're, what's your cost per strand on this? 295. So if it's 60 pence per bead, um, that, so your cost price for a pair of earrings is one pound 20. 
in, in the, just the two beads. And then, of course, you'll have your... Um, uh, sorry, what? Six... Oh, sorry, six pence a bead. Sorry, I beg your pa pardon. Pair pardon. <laughs> wow, hello. I'm not sure. I, I'm not going there for coffee again. Um, it's six pence per bead, everyone, as I said. Um, so your cost price for a pair of stud earrings would be 12 pence, plus your findings. What would be the price of those earrings? Yes, thank you. So there you go. And I think if you, it, because you can make 25 pairs of stud earrings from this strand and then another 25 pairs from this strand and another 25 pairs from this strand, even if you were only charging uh, 4.99, that's a sexy retail price, isn't it? Not five pounds, 4.99, because everything's 99 in this world, isn't it? Yeah. So 25, 50, uh, 75 times 4.99, please, Phil, gives us a grand total of. 575, 156, 750, 374 pounds and 25 pence. Wow. Wow, and our, and our, outlay, our outlay was 8.95 plus some findings. Hello. Happy yeah. days are here again. <clears throat> oh, don't try and go to, uh, <laughs> I went, went to go a bit, a bit falsetto there and I think I'm more, uh, what's the one in the middle? Not baritone, because I don't think I'm that low. What's the one in the middle? Tenor? Done, Phil. <laughs> I mean, it's only 8.95 on the screen, but if you're willing to give me a tenor, not a problem. 70 of these have gone already. We have just 200 and that's it. So snap them up now while you can. We should not have these, remember. Phil has purloined these from somewhere. I don't, I don't, I don't know where, I don't know how. I'm, I'm best not to ask. I'm not asking. Oh, you know Mars Barbara Windsor? Oh, yes. Right, yeah. so that's a game, right? And I think they play it on Radio 1, don't they, in some kind of guise or form, where I give you two clues. Right. And the first clue links straight into, and the answer, the first part leads to the other. So Mars Barbara Windsor, I would say, I've got to, I've got to say, by the way, that other chocolate bars are available. But, so I'd say well-known chocolate bar and English EastEnders actress. Right. Right. So then we have Mars Bar, and then the bar is the first part of Barbara Windsor. So the answer yeah. would be Mars Barbara Windsor. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. So here's one for you, Katie, and then I'll start <laughs> playing it with you as well because oh, no. I want you to understand it first. All right. So, um, breakfast television presenter in the UK meets gemstone. You can have clues, by the way, as well. Uh, you can have clues. So you can ask me for clues if you like. Um, we'll look at these shell pearls in the way in the meantime as you're doing that. Maybe you're trying to work it out as well. Maybe you can help Katie. Oh, now see, that's an easy one, I think. I've, Google I've, him. I've started off with an easy one. You can ask me questions. Um, you know, it's a bit like guess who. You oh, know, okay. does he wear glasses and all that kind of stuff? You can ask me any questions you like. I mean, I'll tell you whether I can't give you a clue or not. Um, it's a good one, this as well, actually. ITV. Yes. Be breakfast presenter. Yes. Yeah. What? Phil's got it. <laughs> Phil's got it. The answer is. <laughs> what Phil said. Piers Morganite. <laughs> there you go. See, that's oh. how it works. Yeah. That's how it works. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> really, oh, right. it's it's a good game. This. Yeah. I mean, some of them don't. You know, some of them are a bit more obscure than others. I was sat around a, a swimming pool in Gibraltar playing with this with some friends a couple of months ago. And it, it, honestly, we had a whole day out of it. <laughs> we now have a little WhatsApp group oh. to, to still carry on playing because we're all in different places. And we still, we, we still um, other messaging systems are available, I have to say. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we have a little group now. Carry oh. on, we carry on playing it. Oh, it's brilliant. Do you want another one then? No. Oh, give, Katie. Give one to the people at home. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one at home then. Um, right, let's think of a, um, a good one. I'm going to think of, of, of one that you will know quite easily. Uh, oh, right, hang on, I had this earlier. Um, 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 oh, yes, right. So, I'm looking for two singers and their names merged together. They're two what you would call divas in different ways. The first one has one name and the second one has 
two names. So they're two divas and their names kind of go together. This is not easy to explain on the telly. It's not as easy as it, as it is when you're sitting around people. Um, got 200 of these strands, by the way. So they're two singers, they're two mega, mega singers. The first one has only one name. So I, I just, I'll give you a clue. Cher? Like It's not Cher, oh. but it's a singer <laughs> with, that's only known as one name. And then the end of that answer will lead you to someone who has two names, who is also a female. They're both female, by the way. So I'm not giving you any more clues. We're going to leave it all to the people at home and see, and see how you get on. You can text in 60777 and start your message with JM Studio. Phil's, Phil's scratching his head because he hasn't got it. You don't like to not have the answer straight away, Phil, do you? <laughs> <laughs> he was very impressed. He was very, very impressed. What have we got? Jill came through. Yeah, Madonna, Madonna Summer. Summer. Oh, well right, done, yeah. Jill. Who else got it? Who else got it? Sally and Karen, you got it as well. Congratulations. Very good. Right, here's your next one then. Watery manufacturer and female diva. Watery manufacturer. So they manufacture products that water flows through and a diva with one name. Okay, so. Right, so I'll leave that with you. I must show you my must-have. I must show you my must-have because we're putting that on pre-order right now. It's coming up at 8.30, uh, 8 o'clock. The code is ZNDP30, ZNDP30, and it is natural mixed freshwater uh, drop nuggets. Six by sevens up to nine by sevens. There are 72 pearls on the strand, and we are taking it to a ridiculous price. It is on pre-order right now. We have around about 350 of them. They will all go tonight, ZNDP60. Right. Oh. Oh, I'm coming, Katie. I won't be long. I won't be long. <laughs> Zircon. Zircon. Oh, hang on. Zircon. Z there it is. Zircon. Ooh. Now, we had yesterday, we had some darker, um, almost sort of coffee cinnamon tone Zircons yesterday. So if you have those, grab these to go with because it will give you some more shades to work with. In fact, there's, some, there's a little element of some sort of fire opal shades going on there as well. Beautiful. Uh, Billy Piper, no, Shirley is not the answer I'm looking for. It's a good guess, though. I do like it. It's not Victoria Beckham. <laughs> Evelyn. <laughs> so I'm looking for a watery manufacturer. It's not Armitage Shanks, Sue. <laughs> Other cistern makers are available. Um, the, the clue is... The first part of it is a watery manufacturer. So a manufacturer of goods which water flows through. Um, I'm thinking cleaning as a bit of a clue. And then the second part of the answer is a diva with one name. So another singer with one name. And that's a female. Anyway, Zircon. Zircon, Zircon, Zircon. Predating diamonds with a wonderful refractive index, gorgeous, gorgeous colour tones as well. Sort of light marmalades, dusting of nutmegs going through. Oh, I love nutmeg. I do like mm. nutmeg on a rice pudding. Oh yeah. Ooh, you know when you do it yourself as well, when you've got the whole meg I can't or the nut. Do you call it a nut or do you call it, it a meg? You know when you, you yeah, know when you grate it's a it. Nut. It's a, it's a, Is it a it's nut? Because you can't crack it open, can you? Because you grate the whole thing, don't you? So is it a meg or is it a nut? What's a meg? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Six ninety-five for zircon. Answer the postcard <laughs> to the normal address, please. Uh, zircon. And lots of it as well. Beautiful, beautiful strand. And again, um, you've got so many stones here um, to work with. They are beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. I love the fact that you've got oranges in there as well. Lovely, deep, sort of... Um, they're almost um, diamond sparkle as well. I mean, that's the great thing, and that's the misunderstood fact 
with Zircon is that they do sparkle beautifully. They've got a very, very high refractive index. In fact, to be honest with you, and I know I shouldn't say this and I won't be thanked for saying this in-house, but we do actually have strands of rough diamond nuggets, which this might outshine. Sorry to say that might outshine that, but you know, it's personal opinion. Uh, feel free to disagree with me. Um, Zircon is wonderful though. Um, the strand that we had yesterday was more sort of um, a, a darker, deeper, almost like sugar crystals. You know when you go to those really, really posh places every now and again, and instead of serving up granulated sugar or demerara, mm. they serve you sugar crystals. Yeah. Oh, you know you've arrived when oh, you're yeah. at one of those places, <laughs> don't you? Wonderful. That's the strand that we had yesterday. Um, and this would go really nicely with that. 6 95 Brilliant. Hello, Jane and Steve. Uh, here comes an answer from... Ha ha, Hazel thinks it's Lulu. No, 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 no. No, remember... No, no, they will. They will. Um, do you want another clue? Um, you know with the watery manufacturer, I'm thinking... Um, Right, so the watery manufacturer makes goods that water flows through, or they're very connected with water. Um, and I think your clue would be... Um, mm, uh, you might use it on your driveway. Oh, that's giving it away now, though. That's giving it away now. Manufacturer, remember, Mike. We're looking for a manufacturer. You will know it, I promise you. It's very well known. <laughs> clue yellow. If you've got one, it will be yellow. Yellow. They so will, no. Phil. They so <laughs> will. I've got a very, very intelligent audience. They're on my level. What he's saying is we're not intelligent. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Phil. Right, have a think about what you've just said, Phil. No, no, no. No, but have, have a little think about what you've said. Yes, Jill. It's oh, car chirp because it's car share. That's not awful. That's no. brilliant, Phil. No, I'm not having that because one. Because the spelling works, doesn't it? I'm not having that one. It works, though, doesn't it? I have this, I have this conversation with the, with the team that I play with. They say, hang on a minute. Hang on. If it sounds like... But that's the spelling, isn't it? It works. It works, you see. Well done. And to Jilly Susie Watts it as well. <laughs> Karcher. Other, other pressure washers are available, by the way. I've got one of their window vacuum cleaners, and they're very good. Oh. Very good, but, <laughs> but they're not paying me to say that. What's wrong with you, Phil? You're not happy with that? He's not happy with that. Right, I'll get... I'll get, I'll get, a, I'll get another one for you. I'll get another one for you soon, <laughs> Phil, don't worry. One that sounds right and spells right. Is that all right? Oh, dear. It's very, it's very angsty, isn't he, now? That's it. We've upset Phil now. Dear me. Right, time for Here Comes the Bride now. Here comes the bride, don't sing the rest. Um, we have got a really, really fantastic kit for you. And I tell you, for me, the highlight in this is the fact that you've got gold um, coloured silver plated copper wire. I was, there were a couple of spools of this um, in the office this afternoon and I did that thing. You know that wonderful thing that you do when you take the plastic sleeve off? Yes. And it all goes <laughs> and I thought oh. And I tried to do it very subtly and uh, coil it back up. Um, but it's wonderful because this literally looks like gold bullion. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's incredible, and, it, and I imagine it's a joy to work with. Oh, I know yeah, it's a joy to work with. Yeah. Because I actually took the one mil, this is the, that's the 0.8, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, is it just 0.8 and 0.4 on this one? Yeah. Right, 0.8 and 0.4. So I think it must have been the 0.8 that we had in the office, and I got some out and I was just moving it around because you, you just kind of need to know how malleable it is. Um, and it's just a delight, and it feels like luxury. Do you know what I mean? If you've never worked with this wire before, maybe your preference is the copper or the antique bronze or, you know, the bare copper, um, go for this because it is so lustrous. And, and is it good for keeping that colour as well? Because I know some of the wires sometimes, if they're coated or coloured, oh, yeah, they can lose elements yeah. of that colour. No, uh, perfectly fine. I mean, I've twisted mine and all sorts, so... 
Very yeah. good, right. So copper wire bundle, you're getting 10 meters of 0.4 and 10 meters of 0.8. Is it 10 of both, um, Phil? Yes. Yes, right, because there was a bit of confusion on one of the kits as to whether you get 20 or 10. So it's 10 metres of each, 10 metres of your 0.4 and 10 metres of your 0.8. This is one of the most incredible Swarovskis I think I've ever seen. This, yeah, mm. isn't it wonderful? It's a huge, you get one of these, it's 30 by 20 millimetres, it's your Swarovski large drop. And I have to tell you, I do know the price of this kit, not that I can remember it, but I do know the price of this kit, I know where it sits. Uh, and I would say, just for the joy of having that one Swarovski stone, it's worth grabbing the kit. Yeah. Because with all due respect to Swarovski themselves, if they were presenting a base metal pendant with a very, very plain base metal chain mm. in one of their own stores with a crystal similar to this. I'm not directly comparing, but this is a Zwarovski crystal. Um, you would be looking for that size of crystal. You'd be starting in the three-figure territory, wouldn't you? Mm. I, and I'll tell you why, how I know that, because I, well, I kind of had a little, little look out there. But you've got one of those, but you also have, and these are just delightful. I've got one already um, made up, if you want to. Oh, have you? Yeah. Yes. Have a little look at these. And you're actually getting four of these, aren't you? Yeah. So they're four little oval cut... versions of these um, opal stones. Eight by six millimetre and you're getting four of those. Now I know that a, a base metal ring from Swarovski themselves, and I say this with all due respect, I'm not knocking them in any way, I promise you that. Um, a base metal ring with a stone that size with them and you'd be starting at the 30, 40, 50 pounds mark. Mm. And you know what, quite rightly so as well. Yeah. They deserve it. They've, they've got that amazing prowess. Now, it does come with the, um, with the settings as well. So you get those four stones, and you don't have to make prong settings for no. them, because to try and do that on an 8x6 is not easy mm. at all. Um, so it does come with the little, um, the little um, sterling silver baskets, um, which is great. Look at the pearls that you're getting with this kit. Oh, my word. It's just the perfect combo, just the perfect combo. Both natural pearls, mm. both natural pearls, um, but you are getting your ovals, which go from 14 by 10 to 16 by 11. On, on ours, we've got 25 of those on the strand, um, which is lovely, 38 centimetre strand. And then you've got the rice beads, the smallest rice beads I think I've seen, three by two. Um, but it's a 38 centimetre strand, so on ours, there's actually 127 pearls on that strand. And I just think that's perfect because actually, if you are looking to create a sort of basket effect or a, or, or a mesh and you want to dot that with these pearls, you can be as generous as you like. Also, if you want to use them for spacers, they're really subtle, they're really feminine, they're really, really beautiful. And combining them with the Zorovskis here, I mean, seriously, this, this larger um, pear cut stone, yeah. which is, you know, what they call um, white opal Swarovski stone, is just one of the most incredible I've, I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of simulated opal over the years as well. I should have known that when Swarovski are involved, oh, my word, that's it. This is brilliant. This would be great for just the crystal on its own, just the big 30 by 20 white opal Swarovski crystal. Now the ultimate saving across the whole kit here, when you, when you take in the gold coloured copper wire as well, 20 metres of that, 10 in point 0.8 and 10 in point 0.4, we're actually going to be making a 26 pound saving on the overall of this kit. Wow. So it should be 55.95, and you know what? The lion's share, the lion's share of the cost is in that large Swarovski yeah. crystal, um, just without a shadow of a doubt. Um, so 29.95 is is one of those opportunities. It's it's like a wedding celebration on its own. Just this kit, to be honest with you. Um, grab it. Just grab it, grab it, grab it now while you can. Let's have a look at what lovely Katie has, has made from this kit because you've got a nice variety. Talk us through what we're, uh, what we're seeing over here, Katie, because it's okay, just so stunning. 
I've just made some nice simple pearl earrings there as we're just looking at those there. Then I've used some of the oh, smaller lovely. crystals as well, just as some nice simple earrings. And then I've made a comb. Oh, I think I've pinned it to the... That's, no, it's amazing. Yeah. I just wanted to sort of move it around because what we can see from over here and what maybe you can't see on the camera is the pearl essence, is that that range of colour, that's delicious. And you made that completely from... All from the wire, yeah. Yeah, so you didn't reconstruct an existing comb, nope. you, you just created that, yep. and that's beautiful. That's about which so many people are checking yeah. out their kit already. How many kits do we have available, Phil, on this one? Okay, this is a low quantity kit, actually. We mm -hmm. started with 80. This you've got to see. I'm just going to tilt this one forward just a little bit so you do get to see that the full effect of that amazing Swarovski white opal crystal. At 30 by 20, um, it's just amazing. And then you've used the smaller um, uh, oval cuts yeah. here, which are already in their bezels as well. Well, I say they're not in them, um, but you just set them yourself. And it's really, really simple mm -hmm. because you're just bringing in the four prongs, two at either end, aren't you? Yeah. Um, which is stunning. Love it. Such a good kit for 29.95. Seriously. Absolutely. Jump on the phone lines or grab this mm. now via jewelrymaker.com. Um, that's beautiful. And I love that. Now, uh, now I did ask you about this one, didn't Because <laughs> I was like, do people wear crowns on their wedding? <laughs> but this is actually, this is actually, um, this is for a wedding bun, isn't it? Yes. Apparently. Who knew? Well, I'd wear it anyway, but you know me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'd wear it to go down the local supermarket. Yeah, she'd be wearing it jumping out of wardrobes in Ikea. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Well done, you. Right, Thank now, what you. are we going to see, my, uh, okay. my darling? Well, I'm going to show you. Obviously, we get these, um, these the smaller ovals. ones yeah, in, yeah. The, um, in the prong set already. Yeah. So... What I'm going to do is I'll just show you quickly how to just set them. It is oh, really, that's really, good. really nice and simple. Good, 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 so good. So you're literally just going to get your uh, just stone. Hold, oh, you're right, okay. Right. We're there, we're there. Okay. We're there. All right, and then you'll just pop that straight in. Yeah. And then you're going to get your um, pliers. Now, what I do is I usually tend to just hold on a little bit to the top there. Yes. And then we're just going to bring in one prong just there. Yeah. And then... We're going to go over to the opposite prong, diagonally. Okay. So, so if we start off southeast, we'd then go northwest. Yeah. And then that will then hold that in place. So if you know you accidentally drop it or anything like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you've got your opposites. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come back in, and then just. And you're not using too much um, pressure there. Not too there. much pressure. No, you'll because you'll feel it, won't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh yeah. You'll know when it's when it's gone, and then that's it, all in place. And you're keeping the plier above the prong as well, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So there we go, all in place. So that's how easy that is. But with the bigger one, we don't actually get a setting. Sometimes we do in some of the kits mm -hmm. that we get. Mm -hmm. So and I wanted to show off the complete beauty of this crystal. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've literally just got my um, notebook and popped my crystal on face down and then drawn around it with my pencil and then lifted that off, and now I've got, um, I'm just going to see if I've got my uh, piece of thread. I have, because we'll need that as well. Mm -hmm. um, get the dog hair off there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and then um, you sort of look at that and think, right, where am I going to pop my prongs? And then you pop your prongs in. But before you even do that, you're just going to get your piece of thread, and we're just going to measure around your drawing until you get to that point mm -hmm. and then you'll measure that on your ruler mm -hmm. and then draw a nice straight line of your of the length just there yeah okay so you're going to draw a nice straight line for that mm -hmm. and then you're going to find the middle and i've literally just shall I bring that down just so that they can see that there from from above right. there you go okay so you're going to find your middle point mm -hmm. and then i've measured with the um if i just move that back up again Mm -hmm. with the um, prongs that we've popped in. I've literally just measured from prong to prong. Oh, the distance between each one. And then from prong to prong. Oh, and then, and then this is where we've measured that out. So from the centre, which yeah. is that part of our... Yes. That part of our drawing. Yeah. This is obviously the centre. Yeah. There we go. And then you're going to measure from that prong to that prong. Yeah. And then that is where you're going to get your distance uh, to mark yeah, 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 on yeah. here. Yeah. 
And then you'll then measure from that prong to that prong. Yes. And that will then determine uh, from there to there. Okay? That's so a that is how you're going to measure your prongs. So you can do that for any cabochon. Okay? So you can do that for any sort of size cabochon that you have, any shape. Draw around it first and then use your string or what have you to measure it out. And then that is how you will get your, uh, the right measurements for your prong. That, okay. makes, that makes complete sense, doesn't it? Because you've got no kind of guidance otherwise, haven't you, no. have you, as to how to... I've always tried to eyeball it, and you just can't do it no. that way. It just, it just doesn't turn no. out right at all. And actually, with this kind of stone, you do really need them to be quite sort of symmetrical, don't you? Yes, yeah. Um, because the... I'm just going to bring that up just a little bit, because on the, on the final piece, you know, it really does make all of the difference, because it's such a spectacular crystal. Yeah. And it's just absolutely beautiful. You've got to get that right, haven't you? You really need to showcase Stunning. it. Wonderful. So, and uh, this tiara is one that you would then pin in, as opposed to um, like when you have one on a hair band, mm -hmm. um, you would pin that into your hair, and then it's not going to give you like pressure points on the side of your head there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I've literally just cut a couple of lengths of um, the 0 0.8, and I'll just move this to one side for the moment. In fact, no, I won't. I'll keep that in there. Right. So, the longer one is obviously the one we're going to use because we're going to need more wire for this to create our prongs. Oh, so okay. I'm just going to eyeball from the center. I'm going to come in just to this point here. So if I just pop that there and then bring that up, I'm going to come in and create a nice right angle. Mm -hmm. So we've got ourselves a nice right angle. And actually, these pliers are the perfect width to create our the length of our prong. So I've now just brought that back down so we've now got another right angle and then we'll bring that all the way over and then bring that down there, give that a nice squeeze and then we're going to pop my pliers just in there along the line there and we can bring that back up to here and we know that that is going to be the same, um, the same distance there. Mm -hmm. So now we've got prong number one. Oh, so even though you're shortening it you're going back to your plan every time yes, to pick yeah, up the point for up, the next one. Yeah, okay then. So now we go to our next mm. point, and then we're going to go at a right angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got ourselves a nice little right angle there. Mm -hmm. Okay, pop in with our pliers, just again at the, at the right point. If you want to mark off where mm -hmm. you go in, mm -hmm. then that's perfect. If you've got a, a permanent marker, a black permanent marker or something, then we'll bring that one back in. And then come back round and go in again, and that's nice and level. So now we've got our two points for there and there. And I just come back in on this side. I turn my work because for me it's just easier just to keep working on the same. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just quickly pop these ones in. So one there. Bring that down, give that a nice squeeze. As you can see, I'm, you know not being too gentle with the wire and it's you know the gold coloring is staying on which yeah. is lovely and it's so behaving as well really nicely isn't it yeah and then we'll go in for the last one bring that up again in we go to the side and then i have made one up uh, for earlier but i'll show you how you attach them all together bring that down to there and then that's all level. So now we've kind of got our prongs. Obviously, you would take a little bit more time because you haven't got the time restraints of television. <laughs> so there we go. We've now got our prongs ready. So I'm going to bring in the um, other piece of wire that we've got. Now I can move this out of the way. And I'm going to bring in some of our 0.4. And we'll keep these two together because now this is what's going to hold our prongs into place. Okay, ah. so I've halved my, um, sort of found the centre point of my point four, and I'm going to weave half on this side and then half on this side. And when I say weave, I just mean wrap. So we're literally just going to wrap these round together, just like so. Push them together and making sure that your two pieces of, that these two pieces of wire stay flat, flush against each other, because mm -hmm. you don't want them... Um, bunching up. So now when we come to this prong here, okay, so there we go. If we come to this point here, and now we're just going to go straight over, so you don't really need to worry too much about the middle. 
and then we just keep wrapping making sure that they're flush together okay so now you carry on doing that until we get to get to this point and I've already gone ahead and fashioned it around my my uh, crystal so now as you can see that is now going to sit nicely because you want this back piece here to sit just around the back you don't want it on the side here so then it's going to hug it nicely okay now I'm just going to take out my crystal and I've just kept these bits here just in case I need them for anything you probably don't but so now I'm just going to wind that in fact what I will do is use my wires just to keep these together like so now we can bring in our crystal and put that on top okay and then again exactly the same as we did with the first one we're just going to come in and bring one down on one side now if you've got any tape or anything like that if you want to use a little bit of masking tape or, or washi tape or something like that just to hold it down then you can do and then we'll bring that one down on there and then bring this one down on this side and then bring this one not all the way down we're just sort of trying to get the stone in place and then we're now just bringing that in there we go okay and then we're just bringing that down and now you can see that's not going to go anywhere so you've now got that on and then you can attach that to your um, to your tiara and then you can if you wanted to you could have this as a nice um, pendant and then there we go as you can see it's nice and malleable we've got ourselves a nice little prong set crystal just there and then we can bring that in and wrap that into the now I'm just trying to think we've got it on the top there so let's say this is part of our tiara and this is just four pieces of the wire um, twisted together with the wire twister tool that we have so mm -hmm. it's just four strands of the wire okay and then you would just literally just create your your oval and then that's where you're gonna suspend that from inside there and then so that's how you would then suspend that onto there and then you can make that as decorative uh, as you like on the top just there yeah yeah and then as I say you've got your bottom piece there to bring in so I love that. Um, I, uh, all of the, I used actually all of the wire, all of the 0.8 wire, mm -hmm. so, um, or did I? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did, because that's a new one. So I used all of it, yeah. But you're getting, um, but you're getting 20 metres to work with, and, and, and I think once you get the wire, if you've, excuse me, if you've never had the gold-coloured um, copper wire before, I think you'll be like me. You'll be a little bit mesmerised by it. <laughs> Because it is really luxurious feeling, it is, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, when it's twisted together like this, it gives me the impression of, you know, the Staffordshire hoard, mm -hmm. all of the, the um, ancient pieces that they have. It, it just gives yeah. me that impression. I just yeah. love it. So. It's gorgeous. It's so malleable as well. Let me remind you quickly what's, um, what's in the kit then. You, so you've got the 20 metres of the gold colour copper wire. You've got 10 metres in 0.4 and 10 metres in 0.8 um, gauge. Um, the pearls, oh my word, the pearls in this for me, you know, the 29.95 is just brilliant um, because you've got your... Um, oval pearls which are 14 by 10 up to 16 by 11 there are 25 pearls on our strand in the studio and then you've got the little the little beautiful little rice pearls uh, three by two millimeters Katie what a magnificent demo thank you so much Aww. oh thank you um, we had 127 rice pearls on our strand as well it's really really gorgeous but for me to be honest with you the 29.95 mm. It's this one crystal. Absolutely. It's this one 30 by 20 millimeter Swarovski white opal crystal. It's delicious. And the fact that you also get, let me steal one of those again for a second. You get four of the little oval, eight by six ovals as well. 
and their little um, prong settings, which you can, where well, you do the prong settings. So if you wanted to wire wrap them, you wanted to use them in a different way, you could, um, but you get to prong set your own as well, yeah. which is really good. These would be great in the um, shibori that we had, the wedding shibori, these would be absolutely amazing. And they're side, uh, they're side drilled, side yeah. double drilled, the little bezels themselves. So you want to make a pair of stud earrings out of those, no problem whatsoever. How luxurious would that be? Thank you, Katie. That's all right. I will be back a little bit later on. Got to run because it's time for one of these. Okay, here we got, um, that's a nice little bundle actually, isn't it? You get some white topaz, um, fasted rondelles, and some freshwater pearl small nuggets. Um, both completely and utterly uh, natural, both gorgeous to work together. Um, we're doing a better than half price deal, I've just been told. It's another one of the... Uh, Phil's little secret squirrel deals. So if you want it, um, just be very, very quick. Start dialing now. Start dialing now. Here's where we were meant to be at 21.95. Very, very usable, very, very sparkling, especially the topaz. Watch this price tag change now. 21.95 comes down to. I don't. I don't I don't know. I mean, even I'm starting to get worried, Phil. Even I'm starting to get worried now for you. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's becoming a bit of a welfare issue now. Um, they, are <laughs> they are long strands as well. This is just ridiculous. Now, in the topaz strand, actually, lovely Sam, our floor manager, counted the number of topaz on our strand in the studio. It's 179 pieces of topaz there uh, in the rondelles. And we've got 68 pearls, I think, in this. 68 pearls. So 179 plus 68, 247, divided by 9.95, gives us four pennies Per stone or pearl. I thank you. I'd like to take all the credit for this, but I can't at all. It's nothing to do with me at all. It's nothing to do. It's all Phil. It's all Phil. Phil is the making of me here. It was. It, I, I knew Phil knows people in high in high places. So you know, Phil produced all of the test shows that I came in and did. You know, when I snuck in the studio and did some test shows for when we were starting the sewing quarter. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. At least they're over there now. Um, um, and Phil produced most of those shows, didn't you, Phil? Well, yeah, you, you were there for us, weren't you? You were there for us. <laughs> and Mike was there for us as well, and Leah was there for us as well. The whole team were amazing, considering we suddenly thrust fabric into their gemstone world. <laughs> anyway, they've got their own channel now, it's fine. All sorted. All sorted. In fact, I was over there this week. Were you? Yeah, I did Thursday morning, I think it was. Very nice. Very nice studio, Mike. Have you not been to see it yet, Mike? Oh, you'll have to go and have a little squiz. Very nice. Right in the, the centre of glamorous Birmingham. Wonderful. 9.95. You've got more robotic cameras than you know what to do with them, uh, Mike. Brilliant. They're, they're coming from every angle. There's got cameras coming out of shelves and all sorts. Uh, Sue says, careful, Phil. Derek's lining you up to take all the blame. <laughs> no, it's fine. I always say to Phil, you can just tell them it was me. It's fine. It's fine because because I because Colin's the, the, you know, well, he's not the big boss. He's just like the biggest boss in this building. But I yeah. know the one up from him as well. So it's great. I've got oh, them all. Got go. them all round there. Yeah. I have. It's all fine. Um, <laughs> so I've, so I, because I worked for Colin before here as well in the other place that I worked at. Um, so that's fine. So Colin knows. If Colin sanctioned me being here on screen, <laughs> he knows full well yeah. that 
the, the hashtag no filter at all. So anything that's in there comes out of there. I wonder if we know anyone else like that, Katie. Oh, really? You know anyone else like that, do you? I have no idea. No, no one you can think of? No one that springs to mind? <laughs> um, 9.95. No, it's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> 9.95. I don't know what I was giggling at there. <laughs> Silly boy. Yes, I'd love to recap the shell pearls. Are there still some remaining? Right, we've got 50 in baskets. That's no good, is it? I'll have to have a nag fill. I'll have to have a nag, and I don't nag, as you know, because I've seen all those forums where people say, oh, they need to keep telling us to check out our baskets. Well, I'm going about to do the same, so get ready. You might want to mute your TV now, because I'm about to have a little nag. Um, three, perfect. Now, remember, this is the one. This is the one. Right, I'm not naming names, Belinda. Ali. Carolyn. Karen. Pauline. Andrea. Colwinda. Julie. Kerry, Rosalind, cashier number six, please. <laughs> <laughs> In my old job, somebody said I sounded like her because I used to go, can, oh, really? I, can I help you next, please? And they always used to go, you sound like that lady from the post office. <laughs> <laughs> um, make sure you check out your baskets on those. I never get a job like that. Mind the gap. Oh, yeah, I want one of those jobs. The tra you know, the train ones? Yeah. I would love to do it. Just, you know. Jewelry Quarter, Birmingham New yeah. Street. Calling out. <laughs> Milton Keynes Central, Watford Junction and London Euston. I'll be, be good at that. The next train at Platform 10. Yeah. <laughs> nice and clear. Nice and concise. Love it. Now, remember, we only started off with three, 200 of these. Over 100 have gone, but we need, the, we need the other nearly 100 to go as well, because mm. there needs to be no evidence of this, or there'll be a memo. Destroy the evidence! There are 50 of each, in three different colours, so you've got the white, you've got the ivory, and you've got the pink there as well. 50 of each, it worked out at, did we say it was sixpence? Sixpence per bead. Sixpence. Oh. I wished it was three. Do you know what I mean? I like, I, I like the word threepence. It's a nice word, that, isn't it? Mm. Ooh, give me threepence, Ebony. You can roll your arms. <laughs> you with can, that can one, you? I love it. <laughs> threepence and twopence and sixpence. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Destroy the tea bar. Look, so heavy, that end, it's going like this now. <laughs> right, where are we going next, Phil? <laughs> Box number nine. Up on cloud number nine. Do you remember that, Brian Adams? Oh, we need another Mars Barber of Windsor, don't we? I'll sort that out very, very soon for you. Although I think that um, <laughs> that went down like a lead balloon, didn't it? <laughs> Deary me. Look at that. Silver sapphire. Um, um, I've... Have I had silver? I don't think I've had silver sapphire here before. I don't think I've had silver sapphire here before. It's gorgeous, yeah. Um, this is... Uh, is this from... Uh, oh, no, this is from Africa, which is helpful, isn't it? That's quite... Pins it down, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this... <laughs> Walking around with our sack of this. Does anybody know where this comes from? <laughs> Going from town to town. <laughs> um, oh, it's incredible. Uh, let me just pop this over skin tone for a second because I, I, I realise that that's actually shimmering a little bit blue when I'm holding it down there. And that blues come from everywhere in this mm. studio because the, the monitors all give out like a, a blue light. Mm. Um, but look... Do you see now the truer tone? It is like um, um, it's not like a, um, like a sterling silver kind of colour. It's it's more of a sort of a dove grey metallic. Yeah. It's um, like it's been kissed with the frost sort of like the sparkly oh. frost. Sort oh, of I think thing. I'm the wrong side tonight. <laughs> I think I'm the wrong. I think we'll swap places. <laughs> kissed by the what? By kissed the by the. Oh, I tell you what. 
<laughs> she's auditioning. <laughs> Phil, she's auditioning. <laughs> 35 carats on this strand. You're right, though. You're right, that's a very lovely description. I'm touched. <laughs> 1795 for genuine corundum. It is beautiful. It's really, really unusual to see the silver sapphire as well. I think I've seen it um, at a previous company. I've seen um, a parcel from India, I think it was. There's a particular region near Jaipur somewhere, I think, uh, where they um, mine a very, very small pocket of um, silver sapphire, uh, which is wonderful because it's, because it's uh, again, visually, because it is corundum, you, you see these wonderful sort of layers sort of going through it, um, and you get quite a nice luster there. In fact, can I just say something for a second? There are, we've got very, very similar strands, which are, you know, diamonds. Mm. This looks better. 25 pence for your authenticity. I didn't say that, by the way. Uh, the, your authenticity certificate. You wait till I get one of those strands of diamonds now, <laughs> I'll be eating those words, no. But actually, I do, I, uh, visually, Yeah. you know, you've got something stunning going on. Corundum's always brilliant for its surface luster. But again, I'm, I'm wondering, Mike, whether we should do an extender in and go right in and see the heart and soul. Is that all right? Because I think sometimes this gemstone can be misunderstood a little bit. Um, because you do need to really sort of look into the very soul. And these are smaller beads. Can you see that sort of inner heart of mm. the gemstone? And again, I would, I would say, dis, in any blue that you can kind of see, I would almost disregard, to be honest. Maybe if I put it down against the... i pop it down there, Leah, yeah. You're right, though. What, what was your description again, Katie? Kissed by the morning frost. Oh. <laughs> that is lovely. Oh. £17.95. pence. That's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, so I'll leave that with you uh, because we've got one of these to do. I'm so sorry, we would have been back seconds ago, but Phil's thrown us all into confusion. <laughs> he said the last one on the list. Mm. Oh, right, OK. Black Spinel lovers, even, do you know what? Even if you hate Black Spinel, but you just want something, you've got these size beads on your yes, necklace, haven't I have, you? Yeah. Microfaceted rondelles of Black Spinel. Watch this price. Sorry, I don't shout very often, but. There's some times where it needs to be done. Look, look. Ooh, that hurts upstairs, doesn't it? That hurts. Up if there was anybody up there, it wasn't yeah. a bank holiday weekend. <laughs> if the FD was in today, that, that we would, he would be stomping down those big stairs, wouldn't he? I think so. The FD, the financial misdirector. Sorry, the financial director. I beg your pardon. Sorry, not miss. <laughs> Don't. Was he in today? No. No. Today? Oh. Just show him the way to the maze, Phil. Oh, he's gone now, though. What? Um, Stephanie, well done in Denbyshire. How many have we got, Phil? 154, but the first 50 have gone. Sue Sue in Staffordshire. What a lovely name. Hmm. Sue Sue, um, Caroline, well done in Pembrokeshire. Sorry, I was trying to keep track of the names there on that wall and it keeps moving. Um, hello, Anne, in Notting uh, Northamptonshire, collector in Kent, Isabel in Surrey, Delia in Kent, Jill in West Yorkshire, collector in the Outer Hebrides. I've never been to the Outer Hebrides, no, have you? No, I've always wanted to go. Yeah. Mm. Start a radio station. Yeah. That'd be good, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be really nice, isn't it? I want to go to Mull as well, mm. and the Mull. Isle of Skye. I want to do all of that. Have you been there, Phil? Phil's been to Skye. We always go to the Trussocks. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Cold, cold up there, isn't it, apparently? Yeah. <laughs> so they say. Especially when you go round them. 
395. Georgie in Lincolnshire, congratulations. Charlotte in Lancashire, well done, well done, well done. Have a little squiz at Katie's necklace, actually, because she's incorporated into her necklace pretty much this size of black mm. spinel, isn't it? It's yeah. the microfaceted rondelles. So, um, they are large faceted shell pearls, dyed blue quartz. And you see in between the blue quartz uh, beads, she has microfaceted uh, black spinel. Very good. Uh, must be the first. Um, how many gone now? Hello, Sue. Uh, not long ago, the cheapest microfaceted strand was about fourteen ninety-five. Well, Sue, tonight it's just between us. Just between us. Phil is yeah. being very naughty tonight, actually. Very naughty, but we're all off for a wee while now. Uh, Fatima, well done, in Lincolnshire, well done. Anita in Hampshire, Mary in Worcestershire, Linda, Linda on Merseyside, Margaret in Belfast. What about you, Margaret? Uh, well done, congratulations. In fact, I'm not sure when I'm back again. This isn't my mobile phone, but I'm just going to check. Oh, that Venus flytrap, there it is again. Everywhere I go, that Venus flytrap follows me around. Do you know, I've got a week off. Ooh. Oh, off. Don't tell anyone. I hope you get better soon. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Last time I had a week off, um, I, um, uh, <laughs> I've, just, I've just got that now. <laughs> That's Scottish, isn't it? I like what? it. Um, the next, when am I back here? Oh, I don't know, because we tried to sort out lots of shows for September. Uh, and, well, and I, I know I'm on the 5th on the late show, on the 5th of September. So. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I might, well I might, but I think I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to be on the 9th and the 10th on that weekend uh, on the mid-shows. I think that's when I'm back. That's not too long, is it? It's only no, a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm having this strange thing going on at the moment where every other week I'm like a mad busy going... <laughs> and the other week I'm like... It's good, I, I quite like nice. that. nice. Week on, week off. Yeah. It's all right, I've got things to do. I have things to, that need to do. Got to do me ironing. Got to be done. Actually, I've got to have my windscreen replaced tomorrow. <sighs> I've got a little crack. Oh. It's, uh, it's like one of those half moon ones. It's fine though. It's not in my field of vision, so it's fine. So it's being replaced tomorrow. Mm. Yes. Yes. Where are they? Where did I put them? I think they dropped actually, didn't they? Oh no, they're there. There's one. Where did the other one go? Is Mike still trying to get you to do something tomorrow, Phil? Oh. Uh, oh, he's fobbing you off with one of his friends now. <laughs> because you won't go for a walk with him in the woods. <laughs> he's now suggesting you should go out with one of his friends. Oh, okay. Do you know him as well, Phil? That's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Phil, being harassed. It's <laughs> all right, we're all witnesses, Phil. <laughs> We've got white topaz um, and pearls. This bundle here, by the way, of small nuggets is half price at 9.95. So we put that as detail um, at the bottom of the screen. Oh, blimey, have I just said out loud as well? I've got a week off. It, no, you know what you know what it'll be, Phil. I'll be going for a walk in the woods with Mike next. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, just tell him you're busy. Yeah. Tell him you're busy. Listen, we got to go for three minutes. Uh, Mike's Mike's walks are the best walks. <gasps> right. Okay. Hashtag awkward. Uh, see you in three minutes, I guess. <laughs> Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the jewellery maker couldn't be easier. 
so why not give it a go today? Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We're all giving it large now, it's the must have. My word. Sort of shapes there, weren't, weren't we? we just? Good lot frightened the life out of us. At least we knew we were back. We were like, what the dickens is that? Whew. Well, I don't know why they suddenly think we want to listen to that noise that the youngsters listen to. No idea why. Anyway, it got our attention, didn't it? It's time for the must have now. Must have? <laughs> I've dropped an H there, I do beg your pardon. It's the must have. Uh, it is multicolored freshwater pearls, all three colors, all beautiful, natural. You're getting 72 pearls, 6.95. So we're just putting it straight out there right now. If this is your first order, by the way, for the must have, and you get this 6.95 pearl strand, as a first order, you'll also get, you'll also get, I don't know where my H's are going, I keep <laughs> dropping them on the floor. Um, You'll also get the Jewelry Maker Welcome Pack, and inside the Welcome Pack, uh, you've got beading thread, you've got a findings pack, you've got project cards, you've got a uh, there, there comes something I can't tell you about. Um, you've got all sorts going on. There's a DVD in there as well. So if you're making your first order, take advantage of that because there must be, I don't know what the worth of the freebies are that are in this Welcome Pack, but it's pretty worth having, mm. let me tell you, um, as, a, as a new... Um, uh, customer. They are amazing, really, really good. Uh, existing customers who want the case as well, I know I'm working on that. I am working on that, seriously. I don't, don't know how much success I will have, but I've said to them, everyone who want, works, uh, watches Jewelry Maker, not just works at Jewelry Maker, <laughs> everyone who works at Jewelry Maker has been snagging these left, right and centre, has just been <laughs> round the office, just, just casually kind of going... Uh, they're, they're just empty them. We've got empty ones of these all over the office and then people run off home with that <laughs> bit, don't they? Um, in fact, now I've opened that, let me show you while you're all confirming, let me show you what, what is going on um, in this. So you've got uh, a welcome letter, you've got some project cards going there. Um, so how to make a pearl bracelet, how to make a beaded necklace with a clasp, how to make wrap loop earrings, get started with JM, a uh, little book which tells you about tools and materials and oh look there's Millie, there's Millie who's our web designer uh, here at Sewing Quarter. 
Uh, here at, sorry, here at Jewelry Maker. I knew it was called <laughs> Jewelry Maker. <laughs> she is also the web designer for Sewing Quarter, which is why uh, I made that slight boo boo. Uh, you're on Jewelry Maker now, Derek, at the moment. Um, you get a DVD, which is a get started with um, JM DVD. You get three pairs of pliers. You get a pair of round nose, chain nose, and side cutters. You get the essential beading um, um, kit pack, which is monofilament and, and doodah and a bit of that as well. Three spools of this, that, and the other. And over 100 piece um, silver plated findings kit as well. Plus, there's something else in there that I can't tell you about, which is a nice little treat to say, Welcome to JM. So, if you want that, any order, any first order of um, 4 95 or more, and that comes your way. Uh, the beading, um, the essential beading kit, by the way, is monofilament, elastic, and beading thread. I knew that, I just couldn't call it back to memory. Um, that's quite a nice little stash and bundle, actually. I'm very proud of mine. I've got mine in my office. Just, just got to get started now. Just got to buy a kit and get started <laughs> now. I've got felt cacti coming out of my ears at the moment, but as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to buy my first kit and away I'll go. I am off all of this week, though, so maybe this is my first there opportunity this week. Six ninety-five, and you've got seventy-two pearls on this strand. They're all completely and utterly natural at six ninety-five. Just enjoy this. If you want to restrand it, by the way, um, you know what? That would make a fabulous necklace on its own. And you see, they've bundled them all up, um, or they've bunched them all up really, really closely together. How how much did you say per pearl? Less than ten pence per pearl. That is brilliant. I mean, that's why it is the must-have. Um, and on bridal weekend, I know, listen, I know bridal weekends are a little pearl heavy, but this is your opportunity. Um, um, Jill, who was here last night, and Katie, I'm sure you've noticed as well, when you go to these shows where you can buy strands mm -hmm. of pearls, um, you often stop yourself because you think, <coughs> Um, no, I think I'll stick with JM, thanks. Yeah, no. um, do you know what I mean? You need to be really, really careful and selective because you can be paying, you know, ridiculous sums of money um, and actually you won't often see mixed pearl strands. It'll be either no. white, yeah. either, you know, you will, you will have to keep buying the separate colours as separate strands, mm, won't you? Definitely. 6 95 this. 6 95 Who's got this, Phil, so far? Here come the names. Jenny, well done. Hertree, well done. Caroline at, uh, in Pembrokeshire. Sharon in Renfrewshire. Anne in Lanarkshire. Carolyn Dumfries and Galloway. Oh, yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to Scotland next weekend. Yes, oh, that I've just remembered now. Yes, I'm going to Dumfries and Galloway. I'll give you a wave, Carol. Uh, I'm going down to Port William. Um, are you two doing Edinburgh fin Fringe next year, loving the show? We should do, shouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, why not? We'd be amazing, wouldn't I we? I think so. Because we could say all the bits that we can't say as yeah. well, can't oh, we? Yeah. All the stuff that we say in the breaks, we could say that <laughs> as well, couldn't I we? I definitely think so. Yeah, that would be good. That, but I think we should, we should have two versions of this, shouldn't we? We should have the version that is, you know, yeah. free for everyone to watch, you know, if, if you've got Sky or the internet or whatever. Yeah. And a little, like a you know, a little little pay for pay per view sidelines for the extra entertainment in yeah. the breaks. Because actually, so. you know, when you when you're watching, you know, I mean, I, I know I'm in some of the adverts that come up in the break, but you know, essentially, it's you've seen it all, haven't you? Once you've seen it, you've seen it. Yeah. Um, and we every hour another three minutes of the same <laughs> yeah. thing. I know it's all important information, but uh, you know, we've all seen it a thousand times, haven't we? And actually, for the for the pay-per-view people, we could you could just stay with us yeah. for, for, for the break. <laughs> you just have to make sure, you just have to make sure anyone with straight hair would have to pin it down in some way, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? Because it could, the content oh, of the break yeah, oh yeah, could make cause a curl, curl yeah, or two, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're right there. Yeah. You're making an aerial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like dilly boppers from the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's in a world of her own over there. No idea what she's doing at all. Never mind. Gets her out the house, doesn't it? Um, okay, GCIU76. We've got some rainbow moonstone going on for you now. If you had the Tanzanite nuggets from the first hour, this would be an excellent, excellent bedfellow for these because it's a similar kind of profile. In fact, you could alternate, alternate one with the other, mm. couldn't you, completely? And there's a lot of colour coming through this rainbow moonstone. I, I do love, actually, I'm going to make myself a quick bracelet, Phil. Just won't be a second. Because, again, it's occurred to me that I, I don't wear jewellery. 
And I haven't really, because I, I, I think, to be honest, there's a distinct lack of variety out on the high street, mm. completely and utterly. It's useless. So I've stopped wearing jewellery um, because there's just nothing on offer. But I've made, I don't know how many bracelets for myself out of strands, you know, from here, and they are amazing. Although I do treasure, I have got a beaded mookite bracelet that um, Sally in Essex kindly made for me. She bought a strand of mookite um, and some uh, beading elastic. And it's got a, um, it's got an opal in the middle as well, or an amber. I've got, I've got it with me actually. I'll, I'll have to have a little look. Uh, right, the rainbow moon. No, Phil. <laughs> That's not even acting. <laughs> I couldn't act to save my life, Katie. Honestly, I've got no. such a bad memory. I'd love to be in a play or something, but I just couldn't remember the lines. I was a dominatrix in a play once. Were you? Yeah. Were you? I was, yeah. Did you have heels? I had heels, I had leather shorts and a bustier as well. I tell you what, gaffer tape is fantastic. <laughs> right. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to uh, oh, Rainbow, it's not nine yet, is Rainbow it? Moonstone on a Sunday <laughs> evening here at uh, the nation's favourite... <laughs> Easy listening channel, <laughs> jewellery maker. Good Lord. Whew. Where was that? Where was that, Katie, then? Now um, you've started telling us, we might as well get the rest of the story. Oh, well, obviously, you know, I um, had to take myself down because I was what, running you... around the stage all the time. No, I just asked where it oh, was. Right. That's all it was. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought, you I thought we'd had too much information already. <laughs> Right, I'll, I'll try this question again. Where was that, Katie? Oh, it was in a lovely theatre in Boston in Lincolnshire. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely nice that night out. I've been to Boston, actually. Boston's the, the place with the river that goes through it, yes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's at the Blackfriars Theatre. I've st Oh, Phil, that's terrible! I can't even tell you that. <laughs> can't even tell you that. Um, I stayed in the hotel one night that's right next to the river it's like a pub with rooms on the opposite side of the church yes, the opposite side yeah, of the I river know, yeah that's lovely boston where was i on the way to oh we were on a going on holiday to cromer in norfolk so that was a halfway oh, right, point halfway, yeah. to stop off before getting stuck on the a whatever it is at ipswich Ooh, that's a nightmare isn't it uh well done congratulations should we recap that Tanzanite as well, um, Phil? Because, oh, has it gone? Oh, sorry. Right, what should we do next then? Blue lace agate. Oh, by the way, everything that you see, well, I know you're, not, you're only seeing it from a distance there, so it just looks like it could be anything. Um, but everything you can see on my um, shelves here, bars, is brand new. What am I looking for, Phil, now? I'm, I'm filling for time. Oh, down here, sorry. I was looking for a strand. Phil said blue lace agate, and I'm thinking, no, tanzanite, and that's appetite over there, and... Is this carrot weight or sizes? Okay, so we're guaranteeing carrot weight, so I'll show you what I've got in mine. Oh, look, I've got, like, small, medium, large in these cabochons. There wouldn't have been much of a script then, would there? <laughs> no, there was a lot of oh, script. Oh, was there? Okay. Yes, okay, yeah. all right then. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, I've got three um, ovals in mine. We're guaranteeing the carrot weight. Gorgeous, gorgeous material. Um, working on the same principle. You remember when Katie was wire wrapping the um, Swarovski white opal crystal in the first demo tonight? I actually think this, mm. in that gold-coloured wire, yeah. prong Lovely. set that way. Could you create like a, like a sort of, a, I'm thinking out loud here, but like a sort of wavy, um, not prongs so much, but sort like of like... Like a zigzag. Like little, to, yeah. To go around well, the Well, I was outside. thinking about like scallop, almost little scallops that, yeah. that do the same thing as, yes, yeah, as you pronging. Can do, yeah. Pronging, that's not a word, is it? <laughs> But you know what I mean, don't you? Yes. Prong setting. Now, 
if 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 it were just yeah. one like this size at 12.95 you'd be extremely happy wouldn't it i can't guarantee what you know what you will be getting you may get different shapes we just happen to have three ovals here you may get kites you might get five you might get rectangles you might get circles circles rounds circles we're not at play school anymore derek circles 7.95 that's amazing seven pounds and 95 pence and it's so so popular you know you can mix it with your your um soda lights and any of your white gemstones any of your white opaque gemstones jaspers moonstones actually moonstones mm -hmm. would go quite nicely with this as well you know if you were if you were mixing up uh, mixing it up as a multi gemstone piece any white gemstones that silver sapphire would have gone quite nicely with this as well wouldn't it Mm. Pearls. I love it. And actually, you can turn that into a little bit of a picture, can't you? If you turn it sideways. Actually, it wasn't that one I was looking at. It was that one. Oh, and not that way around either. It was that way around. It's kind of a little bit oceanic, like the, yeah, yeah. like the tide going out. It is beautiful. Um, Pat, Rebecca... Mary, Kimmy, Philippa, well done, congratulations. Mary's joining us in the West Midlands. Ian in County Waterford. Now that's somewhere I've never been either, the Republic of Ireland. No, I haven't either. I would love to. I'd love to go to Dublin. Mm. I would love to go there. The thing is, because, you know, I mean, you've got to go to, you know, it's a couple of places you've got to go to in Dublin, aren't there? And I do like a glass of the black slap every now and again. Usually when I go to Bingo, it's not very often, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, after one big glass, because there's not much of me, um, well, no, no, I'm not full, Phil, but I start <laughs> getting giggly. You know when you do your dobbing in the bingo, I start, I start getting a bit um, dabbing, sorry, dobbing, dabbing, whatever it is. No, it's a dobber, isn't it? I start dabbing, yes. But I, start, I, I get giggly after one. Oh, I know. Sniff of the cook's apron, I'm, I'm, I'm under the table, that's it. Please do, do drink responsibly, one at a time. 7 95 Right, time for an on and gone. Oh, ooh. Oh, I've never seen this strand before. Oh, Phil says I'm never going to see it again either. It's white quartz triangles. And they're briolettes. Oh, wow. Looks like, talking of the Republic of, uh, Republic of Ireland, this is like water for crystal almost, isn't mm. it? I'd have That's that amazing. just to have it. Yeah. Do you know what I'd do? I'd, I'd make a nice little um, decoration that just went inside the window. Yeah. You know, so the sun... Yeah, I've got like some, a little, like sun catcher type things. Yeah. I've got one of those in my kitchen window, but yeah, this would be I'd fantastic. I'd make an adult mobile kind of thing. Mm. I think actually somewhere near the Venus flytrap and the succulents and the cacti. In fact, there's a lady on um, the Facebook page, I can't remember what her name is now, but she does. Um, she has a teapot and has crystals coming out of a teapot, like the water coming out of the teapot. Oh. These would look absolutely yes, stunning. Yes, because they would look like long droplets of mm. water, wouldn't they? That's a good idea. Who's that with the teapot? Oh, I like that. Oh, I need to look into that. Look at that refraction. That's fantastic. Oh, beautiful. They're all going to go. Have you ever seen the lights of it? When was this last on, Phil? Long, long time ago. We could do with some more strands like this, couldn't we? I'd love to see a green amethyst like this, wouldn't you? Aquamarine. Mm, yeah. Cheap date, Derek. Yeah, very, when it comes to the bingo. <laughs> Just buy me some bingo cards and uh, one glass of the black stuff and that's it. That's it. You will have to carry me home, you know, but apart from that, all fine. All fine and dandy. Yes, I, I don't have a driver. I was watching Four in a Bed the other day. You know the thing with the, where the mm. B and B owners go and slag each other's places off. Yeah. Um, and and one of the couples turned up in their own chauffeur-driven rolls. Oh, lovely. Uh, got these. They are stunning. Says if one, they are, aren't they? 
and they're now sold out and gone forever and ever and ever. I knew you were going to say that, Phil. Oh. Because equally <gasps> as stunning. Oh, they're beautiful. This would go in the same, you know, the same adult mobile. Mm. I, I would stop saying that, Derek, because that sounds wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like something <laughs> some, uh, just yeah, sounds no. too wrong. Unfortunately, in this day and age, there are some things you just can't say. Oh, that is stunning. Because there are some people, yeah, I know. Uh, five. That is stunning. I know. And can you see the clarity on every stone there? To prong set those, oh, they would just be absolutely amazing. Delicious. The size of them. You'd have they... to prong set them in sterling silver wire as oh, well, yes. definitely. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Or, you know what, your um, rose gold coloured copper mm. wire. Yeah. Because actually, th that would take something from the colour of the citrine. Yes, it would, And it yeah. would give something back as well. Mm. They're stunning. Twenty-one nice pounds. This would go really nicely with the, you know, the green amethyst. We, didn't we have green amethyst? Was it similar shapes earlier? Oh, they were double, um, double doodard, weren't yeah. they? They had a, a doodar on both sides. So actually, a doodar, a coulee. You can tell why. You know, you know, on other channels, they have the, the name of the presenter comes up, and then it says G I A A J P. <laughs> I don't have letters after my name. Although, you know, that's like a morning's course where they basically say, spell the word diamond. Oh, well done. <laughs> well done. You're now a gemstone expert. <laughs> it is. You pay two or three hundred quid and you sit for a morning and someone says, cut, colour, clarity, carrot yeah. weight. Uh, <laughs> they ask, can you spell the word diamond? And that's it. You've got a certificate. You're qualified. Oh, I'm going to go and get one of oh, those. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Seriously. All to have six letters after your name. <laughs> Last one. There might be a bit more to it. No, I don't think there is any more to it, actually. You just go, you, you go down to the GIA for a day. There's a test as well, isn't there, Phil? Have you done it, Phil? Oh, you're doing it soon? The nice day out in London. And then you can say G-I-A-A-J-P. And I'll just carry on saying H-A-P-P-Y. What, what, what should we do next, Phil? Seven. Sorry, I've, I've probably just popped a, popped a few uh, balloons there. But it, it, it's true. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my crikey. This is like... Um, this is like... Worthy of a gold setting kind of Morganite. Mm. Look at the clarity on some of those stones. That's ridiculous. Right, Phil, make sure it's the right money, will you? When you see the quality in front of you there, I'm not even moving it. Can you see how worthy of gold settings a number of those stones are? That's how much it should be. <laughs> well, I hope you've got your trainers on, Phil. Because <laughs> you want to start running now. Watch this. How many got? How many? Wow. We've got seven available. 64.95. That is stunning. One, one of, of these stones with more clarity going on here could be in a, could be in a gold pendant at two, three hundred pounds, in my personal opinion. At least 150. You know, it depends That's on the stunning. arena. Yeah. But, you know, honestly, people are uh, climbing over each other in the gemstone industry to have material of this quality. Mm. Susan, well done. Yowzers. Let me just, I'll show you against skin tone just so you've got a variety of views. Um, but that is some of the best Morganite I have seen here at JM, I have to say. For clarity, for quality, for size, for the perfection of the of the faceting work on there, that's hubba hubba. There's no way that should be in two figures. No way. And the thing is, Phil, we don't even have jewellery lights in this studio, so we're not, you know, we're not over 
over egging the pudding at all here. You get to see true views here. Um, you'll notice sometimes that when you're watching a, a channel bringing you jewellery that the, the hands of the presenters look like they're white and you think, hmm, hmm, that's odd. Uh, it's because they have targeted lights directly at the gemstones. So their face looks nice, you know, healthy colour and, and they look like they have a ghost hand. And it's because of the difference in lighting between one and the other. Awesome! If you can, you should. If you can, you should. That is beautiful. I hope there's some of them left afterwards. Yeah. I, might, I think well, I might be getting one That's of them. a collector's yeah, strand, definitely. really, isn't it? I don't even know why that wasn't even denoted as gems of distinction or anything like that. It's just like, good Lord. That's the, um, that's the kind of strand that should be wearing your... Um, you know, the, your, your, your crown that you made oh, earlier? Oh, yes, yeah. <gasps> oh, love this. I've got to get buying before, you know, before it all grinds to a halt. I've got to get buying because of the quality. And I've seen Stunning. over the years a lot of this gemstone elsewhere. But the quality of... And it's every single stone. It's not like you can ever stop on one of these strands and say, oh, that's a duffer, that one will go straight in the bin. Yeah. You know, because, you know, and, and sometimes you buy gemstone strands and you look and you think, oh, that's a shame because, you know, some of them are quite nice, some of them are doing the business and other, than, mm. other ones of them, yeah, a bit like, you know... A bit like I used to feel at the school disco, a bit plain sat in the corner. You know what I mean? Aww. Oh. Oh. Actually, I used to I used to be in the tuck shop, behind the <laughs> counter, a playing shopkeeper, <laughs> trying to reach the counter. Look at oh, Phil, oh no, no, don't let them have it, don't. I never say this, but don't. No, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. I want it. Katie <laughs> wants it. Katie, we want this one, don't we? Yes, we want. We this can't. One. Can't we just have this one? Can't we just have this one? Okay. There's only 12. That's okay. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> I didn't have any idea what he was about to do then. Right, quickly, quickly then. Right, now I've only got one person in and I've got 12 available. Take them and run now while you can. Yeah, definitely. Because I can tell you I shall be... Um, I shall be after one later when I get home. Oh, actually, no, it'll be tomorrow. Well, because I, I won't get home until about... <clears throat> oh, bank holiday traffic. No, I should be all right, because it should be no traffic tonight, no. shouldn't it? Because the wagons won't be out tonight. No. And they won't be diverting you here, there and everywhere tonight. Well, they're doing the road no. work, so there won't be, there won't, won't be a chance, will there, there'll be <laughs> anybody out working on the roads tonight. Joan on Merseyside, Lorna... In Dorset, one of the games I play when you're on, Derek, is do the lions and check on his shirt match up? And yes, they do 100% so far. Do the lions and checks? Oh, do you mean across? Oh, are there some shirts where it where it doesn't then? I think so. I think so. Wow. Yes, yeah, and sometimes the pocket's a bit different, isn't it? Oh, they do match, don't they? I've got a lot of these Czech shirts, I have to say. I love them. I've, got, I've probably got... Hollister are doing an absolute, you know... Uh, I love them. I just mm. keep buying them and buying them. Buying, and, and I wish they were paying me for saying that. Um, and I wish they were sending me some. <laughs> because I'm spending a lot of money with them. Um, but I just love them. I just love their shirts. They are fantastic. I've got others as well. About what? Oh, Phil would like, like me to, to, to say how much we all love wagon wheels as well. <laughs> Do you know, Phil, that kind of stuff doesn't work. Doesn't. I've been trying it for years. No. It worked more when I worked in radio. <laughs> on telly. When they can't see you. Yeah. No, but you mentioned stuff. No, not shirts. <laughs> I used to be able to get loads of free stuff when I was on the radio. On the telly, no good whatsoever. I've, yeah, no, you try and, you try and um, contact um, clothing companies and say, oh, yeah. do, I, do you know what, I'll tell you once we've seen this. Oh, it's, no, you're not ready, Mike. Oh, he's not ready. Did he not tell you, Mike? 
Oh. Oh, Phil. Honestly. Well, this show's just turned into a shambles, isn't it? Completely. Sorry. Well, no, it's not your fault, Katie. <laughs> And Mike, it's not your fault either. I mean, you know, you can't you can't steer the ship without being given the map, can you? Phil now wants me to say Vorsprung Dirk Technik. Do you know what I heard earlier? I heard an advert on the radio for, um, and it's a re-sing of Queen's "Another One Bites the Dust." Oh. But it's, yeah. Yes. But it's, yeah. it's, it's an advert for a, a brand of car, for a type of car, which is called a duster. Hmm. I hadn't heard of a car called a duster before. Other cars are available. Duster. 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 Right. Meanwhile, Phil says, look at this strand. Sky blue appetite for, I'm going to put, stick my neck out here. I know we've got, again, generic term Africa, but I think this is going to be Madagascan appetite Ooh, because that is lovely. predominantly the um, location for appetite. Isn't it dreamy? That is gorgeous. And do you know what? It's um, naturally that colour. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's if such I was at home, that would be going straight in my basket. Straight in your basket, <laughs> to coin a phrase. Um, other, other YouTube stars are available. <laughs> that one is funny, though. Do you know the other one I like? Tiny Tim. There's a guy that, that oh. does the voice of a three-year-old and phones oh, people no. up. I've not seen that. It's very good. £8.95. £8.95. That's amazing. Yeah, it's this bloke in his 30s who does the voice of a three-year-old wow. and, and, and he rings up like car dealerships and says he wants to come in and buy a car but with the voice of like a three-year-old but he can speak obviously um, the language of a 30-year-old it's <laughs> hilarious it's very funny um, 8.95 I tell you what that's way too low Phil for this gemstone people won't believe it is this gemstone um, if you put it on on screen at that price um, anyone that remembers um, uh, where I came from other, other channels I mean um, <laughs> <laughs> Not where I came from. I uh, crawled out of some rock somewhere. Um, we'll know that a tiny amount of, um, of, <laughs> of appetite set in sterling silver sells for big money. So to have a whole strand like this of such good quality as well, such amazing depth of colour, can I just say this will be one of those gemstones. And, and listen, I always have to, I know we have great fun on my shows, but I have to say... I never hyperbolize with you. I mean, I, I hear stories all over the place, and it's, you know, it's not for me to vouch what, what comes out of other people's mouths, but what comes out of my mouth is, is, is the truth. Um, so I never go over the top. But I will say to you that with this gemstone, whenever you see it, buy it. Because it will be one of those situations, yeah, as Sarah in Cheshire says, just in the nick of time, actually, 8 95 with that glow, madness, mm. but also gorgeous. It's true. And let me tell you, having worked with other companies and this gemstone as well, you'll find that all of a sudden, um, the supply of this and Neon Appetite, which um, comes from Madagascar, will just stop. How many gemstones over the years have you thought, oh, I really fancy some of that now? Mm. And you go to buy it, and you search on the website, and you think, oh, there's none on the website. So you call, you call the help team, and they say, oh, no, sorry, there's none in the business at all. How many gemstones has that happened to over the years? It will, I believe, and, and I, I have no facts to base this on, so it's purely conjecture, but I've seen it happen with other companies. The availability of this gemstone suddenly cuts off, suddenly disappears. And listen, you know I am not into scare selling at all. So when it comes to Tanzanite, I never... You know, I, I never go on about, oh, we don't know how long of, you know, there will be mining mm. Tanzanite, blah, 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 blah. Um, because how, how the heck would I know? I'm sitting here in Warwickshire. How would I know how much gemstone there is in a 15-kilometre range of mining 
the other side of the world in Tanzania. But what I do know about this gemstone is that the quantities are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And actually, with the lack of gemstone, the quality is also starting to wane a little bit. So if you can get neon appetite and the kind of glow and depth of colour that you've got here, all I can say, listen, if you don't buy this, it matters not to me at all. I want you to have it because you want to have it. I'm not on commission at all, so it makes no difference whether we sell one or a thousand and one of these strands. I don't, in fact, I don't even know how many, how many do we have left, Phil? We've got 60 left. So whether one of those 60 sell or all of those 60 sell, to me, as a presenter, it makes no difference. I want you to have the gemstone that you want, but I also want to try and I'll give you the kind of advice I would give you if we were sat having a coffee. Do you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I do know that these channels are about selling, but I don't believe that what I do mm. is selling. I think what I do is I present and, you know, if the price is right and the product is right, you will buy. That's nothing to do with me. That's, that's to do with a whole host of, um, uh, of other things. Would just be stunning in a bracelet with a sterling um, uh, charm. Would sell all day long, says mm. Sarah. Yeah, you're right. And get as many of these as you can, as you can afford to go for. I would say stack up on this gemstone while you can, because, um, you know, and I hope it doesn't happen soon, but there will come a time when the buyers, and listen, um, the way we buy gemstones for jewellery maker is a bit more complicated than it used to be. When we were part of the Genuine Gemstone Company, we had an established situation. So we would have gemstones being bought for gems and their channels and they would be buying for jewellery maker as well. Whereas now, because we've spun away from the Genuine Gemstone Company and we're now part of a, a different company, yes we're still sourcing some gemstones through existing bylines but there's a couple more steps involved and we're having to do our own sort of searching around as well and find other gemstone suppliers. So you know what, I can't guarantee that we'll keep seeing it over and over and over again. Anyway, quite apart from all of that, sorry, I felt like I, I bored you senseless there, quite apart from anything, isn't it just blooming gorgeous? Blooming gorgeous. Right, I've got a quick recap for you, um, because I've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of these in baskets, um, and these need to be checked out today, because if you want 150 shell pearls in three different colours, this is going to be one of the most perfect little bundles that you could ever wish. You've got white, you've got ivy, ivy, ivory, ivy's green, Derek, ivory, that's it, ivory and pink and white, 50 of each, 8 millimetre round, 8.95, yeah, that's not for one strand, that is for all three. It works out at less than sixpence per bead. And actually, as Phil was telling me in the break, um, Mark Smith was saying to Phil recently that he loves working with shell pearls. In fact, they might be, you know, he'll prefer them to a real pearl because mm -hmm. they have got that uniformity of um, shape. So they do tessellate together, they do behave, they do sit, you know, exactly in nice, mm -hmm. neat rows if you want them to. Um, and they're gorgeous. And also, you don't quite need to take the same level of care with them as you do with your organic yeah. pearls. You know sometimes you've got your real pearls on and you just, as course, just as you're about to go through the door, quick spritz with your only thing, oh no, I've got my yeah. pearls on. I mean, listen, it's not a dilemma I have, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn, I've got my pearls on. <laughs> But I can imagine, Katie, yes. you know, is she having a quick spritz just as you're going out the front door? I do it all the time. Of course. Like, it's terrible. Yeah. And what does it do to the pearls? It, it just it takes the luster off. Yeah, yeah, just flattens them, doesn't it? So they should say, um, they should say, they do say, you know, hairsprays, any kind of aerosol spray, body sprays, perfumes, whatever it may be, keep them away from your real pearls. Last thing on, first thing off. Hang on, I'm processing that. Say again. Last thing on when you're going out to get ready. So it's your last thing Pearls. on. Right, yes. First thing first off. First thing off, right, okay. So first thing off I was trying to compute. <laughs> Imagine 
actually got that the wrong way around. Eight ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're brilliant, Katie Reid. I love you. <laughs> right. Got some more pearls now for you. Let's go for some genuine pearls here now. We've got some ivory pearls. You're going to sit there. Right. Okay, I'm going to take these from here. Oh, these are a nice size, actually. These are a nice size. I'm going to try these on. Going to just give you some scaling from a distance. I do realise how ridiculous this looks, but... You know, actually, it just gives you an idea across the room, doesn't it? Um, and actually, real pearls, I mean, shell pearls have their merits because of their exacting size, because they are perfect. Mm. Um, but with genuine pearls, you do get that. When, you, when I was just sort of trying those on there, you get that initial kind of... Ooh, yeah. It's cool, isn't it, mm. when they first touch the skin and then they warm up with yeah. you, don't they? She's lovely. Aren't they? They're a nice size, actually. They, they do look quite round, actually, don't they? We're, we're describing them as a potato pearl, but, but actually, let me just bring in the perfect rounds in the, in the ivory of the shell pearls for a second and, and sit them next. They're very, very good, actually, I have to say. You know, in an identity parade, you'd be, you'd be yeah. hard-pressed to, to kind of distinguish one from the other, wouldn't you? That's the good thing, isn't it? Right, can I, I'm, I'm just going to count the pearls, Phil, if that's all right. Oh, hang on, they are there. 53. 53 on this strand in the studio. Lovely Sam has counted all of them for me. 53 pearls. Now, these are 7 by 8 to eight by nine millimeter. So, you know, again, you get, you get the, the, the profile across the room. And there's something about, I think, if you're not sitting them in nice, neat rows, if you're tiara twisting them into a nice mm. headpiece, um, into a fascinator maybe, yeah. into bridal brooches, hair pieces, mm. then, You've got to go for a, you've got to go for a real pearl oh, there, yeah, haven't you? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. When it's a wedding as well, I think actually for fashion and fun pieces, mm. shell pearls are great. But I think, you know, agree, disagree with me, I don't mind at all. Um, but I think, you know, for, for weddings, because the, if you've taken the time and trouble to make something and craft something for a wedding, mm. then that's all about enduring memories, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, they're essentially they're oh. heirloom pieces, oh, aren't they? Oh, 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 do you know what I've just remembered? What have you just remembered? It's your wedding anniversary today, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Katie, Katie, <laughs> Katie, bless you. <laughs> Happy anniversary, darling. Thank you. <laughs> 18, 18, not me and Katie. <laughs> Katie and her husband have been married for 18 years today and she's spending her anniversary <laughs> with another man. Congratulations, Tom. 18 years. Ooh, I'd imagine you've got a big garden shed, Tom, have you? <laughs> Has he got a big garden shed? No, I've got the garden shed. Oh, have you? Yeah. Well, where does he go then? Oh, he just goes to the pub or watches telly or... <laughs> Do you keep a lot of cotton wool in your house? <laughs> God, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can still hear it. <laughs> 18 years, Katie. 18 years, Who'd I have know. thought it, eh? Who would have thought it? Where, did, where were you proposed to at? Don't tell me if it's private, but... Um, I can't tell you. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> I'll tell you... In, I'll tell you in the Tell me in the break. break. <laughs> OK. Where are we going, Phil? Sorry. You know when you've asked that hashtag, hashtag awkward question? <laughs> That's oh. what I've just done. OK. What about where you met? Or is that... Um, no, no, that's that fine. Okay? That's fine, yeah. Um, right. He was in the army and my sister was um, married to somebody else in the army. Oh, we've had this conversation yeah. before, haven't we? And, uh, yes, when we first met. I went to... Um, went there from university and I was a bit bored and my brother-in-law went up to his room and said, do you want to take my sister out, or well, my sister-in-law out for the night? And then that was it then. Oh. Well, Love that at saved, first sight, you know. Well, that saved a lot of bother, didn't well, it? With it did, all, that, yeah. all that dating business and all that looking <laughs> and 
you know, flicking through the, that page in the yeah. paper every week. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. People pay a fortune these days, don't they? Just to <laughs> try and be match made. Look at these. Oh, they're lovely. Look at that colour. There's no answer to that, Mike. Seventeen ninety-five. Seventeen ninety-five. Let me show you because actually, remember we had that that um, other golden amber pendant earlier, the Baltic amber earlier, mm. um, and you were quite a fan of we of, of maybe wearing it the yeah. the other way around. And of course, you can separate these out as elements if you want to, anyway. I love that. Oh, we don't know the silver weights in these, do we, Phil? Because they didn't factor them in, did they? Congratulations, Casey, and thank you for spending your special evening with us, says Liz. <laughs> but you oh, are both going for a, a, yeah, a little treat, aren't you? We're having a little bank holiday treat, yes, aren't you, yeah, instead? Yes, yeah, we so, are, yeah. So that's all. Because you, you don't always have to do it on the day, do you? No. Sorry, that didn't sound right either, did it? But you know what I mean. You don't always have to celebrate your anniversary on the actual date. It can be the closest weekend or suitable bank holiday. Oh, dear. Still got the spade today. Very good. <laughs> Still digging a hole. <sighs> Lovely. You've got all of this to come yet, Phil. When are you getting married? 3rd of October next year. There's nothing like advanced planning, is there? No. That's <clears> very <throat> good. That's very good. It's good to know that, isn't it? Now. What, which, which row are Katie and I uh, in, Phil? We'll see, we'll see how important <laughs> we are now, Katie. Doesn't know. That, that's no. a diplomatic yeah. answer, is it? That's another way of saying there won't be an invite, yeah. Katie. That's, you know what that is? There won't be an invite to that wedding. <clears throat> oh, do you know what? We can have a, we have a, a bit of a, a... Well, I shouldn't say it really in front of Phil, should I? But I've just had an idea. You know, for the whole of the... For the whole of the... Well, no, I wasn't thinking that extreme. <laughs> Phil was saying, why don't you get yourself ordained? <laughs> That's a bit like hard work, isn't it? What should we do next then, Phil? It shan't be Father Mark's, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, is it not? Uh, and? Where are you getting married then? Oh, you're getting married at the venue? Oh, OK. I'm still, not, I'm still not presiding over it, Phil, I don't think. I think, I, to, to be honest with you, I, I, I think, I think it, <laughs> it, it, it may well be, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can pre present the Facebook live stream of it, if you like. That'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? Oh, although I think, I think your family might have something to say about that. Or Kim's family. I could see a handbag being wrapped <laughs> around my head pretty quickly. <laughs> Will you shush? <laughs> Are these uh, genuine pearls, Phil? Oh, shell pearls. So they're coated um, shell pearls. I think, actually, there's a little half drill um, uh, space on the back of them as well. So if you wanted to screw a fitting into the back, but, I mean, also you could wire wrap these, couldn't mm. you, like cabochons? Yep. Or you could give them a seed bead cuddle as well, couldn't you? Create yeah. a seed bead bezel for them as well. Oh, hello. Um, they are rather nice. And actually, um, you could, um, you can get, um, if you, oh, sorry, I'll work out what I'm saying in a second. It'll come. If you had a super duo, you could stick a super duo to the back of this. And if you've got a coat where you're thinking the buttons need a bit of an upgrade. Yeah. You didn't think I was oh, going there, yeah. did you? Didn't think I was going there, which I'm thinking very bridal, actually. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. See? There you go. I do have an idea every now and again. I, I usually try and confine it to one a week. Five ninety-five. I don't know why is he waggling them. I'm waggling them. Why? Why are you waggling, Derek? You don't need to do that. They are nice though. Good size though, aren't they? Twenty millimeter. 
And actually, I, I realised, to be honest with you, that one or two look slightly different sizes than the others, and that's just the angle, that's just the, the, their proximity to the camera. There you go. It's something like that, Mike, anyway, isn't it? It's some optical illusion. They are all the same size. Five pounds and 95 pence. Collector on Merseyside, well done, congratulations. Milk buttons. Mike, Mike thinks that milk buttons. Oh, do you mean the sweeties? Aren't they like creamy colour though, usually? They have that kind of look. Oh, their shape okay. look, right, okay. All right, Mike. Yeah. You all right there, Mike? Mike's having a little chat to himself yeah. now as well. He's thinking of that, he's thinking of that walk tomorrow. He's thinking about, he's thinking about who, who, who might have been there. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, uh, are you ready, Mike? Is it all sorted? Did he give you advance warning this time? Jolly good. We can do one of these then. Very good. Uh, time for, for some barrel now. I wonder why this gemstone family got the name Beryl. Because Beryl's, isn't Beryl's a female name, isn't it? I remember I used to have an auntie. You know when we always used to have an auntie as a kid that's not really an auntie? Yeah. It's just the mother of a friend across the road that you go to for tea. Mm. Go and see Auntie Beryl. And Uncle, I forgot, yeah, I've just remembered her husband's name as well. And it was funny even when we were a, a child, because it was Auntie Beryl and Uncle Dick. Why is that funny? I don't know. Always is, anyway. Anyway, so why? Why? Oh, right. Um, it's, it's, we're back to the ancient Greeks. Derived from the Greek Berylos. Oh. So actually the lady's name must have followed on naturally yes, from that. Yeah. Maybe they ran out of ideas and thought, oh. Just use one of the Greek words and take the loss off the end. Beryl! Now you're getting lots and lots of different colours here. Morganite pinks, aquamarine blues, you're getting fabulous greens here as well. You're getting some lovely almost sort of khaki colours as well through this. Mmm, no. No, 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 no. Right, same gemstone family as the emerald. That's nice. That's not even a gemstone price, is it? That's not even a gemstone price. No. Mentioned in the Bible, apparently, as well. Beryl. Yeah. Apparently so. See? Don't we learn a lot here? I've got some useless information next to me, which shows me lots of little bullet points of things that I could say. I ignore them most of the time. There's Goshenite in this strand as well. So you have some that are almost colourless. Uh, here's Liz. I had a little yellow sports car called Beryl. She was lovely, but not as pretty as these, Beryl. Oh, yeah, lots of people do give their car names, don't they? Mm. Has your car got a name? No. No. No, mine doesn't either, no. actually. No, I think that was probably a, when you had your first car, mm. you might have given it a name. 795. Well, I can't wait for the break now. <laughs> I'll have to put the answer in the book, won't I? This book's going to sell millions, I know. <laughs> All the secrets that are in there. Secrets of the stars. And now, another one to add to it. <laughs> Intriguing. Seven ninety-five for that lovely, soft, pastel shade. Oh, we'll miss summer when it's gone. It's been a good one this year, isn't it, as well? Not yeah, bad. Yeah, it's been all right. I have to say, we've had worst. 
not too shabby. We've seen the yellow thing up in the sky, even on a bank holiday weekend. Yeah. Now that is a thing, isn't it? That is a thing, isn't yeah. it? I know. Like it. What's it like tomorrow? Do we know? I think it's going to be nice. It's nice tomorrow mm. as well. That's good. Are we all off tomorrow? Sam, you off tomorrow? I am. Yeah. yeah? Mike? Oh, you're going for oh, the long walk, for aren't walk. you? <laughs> Go for a lovely woodland walk. Should we get a meeting time? We'll, we'll see if any of the viewers want to go, Mike. You know, because they feel like they know you anyway, don't they? So maybe you could take some of the viewers. Maybe we could give them a time and a place to meet. Is there a car park where you all meet? <laughs> Fabulous. Um, I now have a grandma mobile. Not pretty, but functional. I'd rather have these gemstones. <laughs> a grandma mobile. Bless. So, uh, and you're off tomorrow as well, Katie, are yes, you? Yes, yeah. Yeah? For, oh, it's Monday, isn't yes, it? Oh, I'm, yes, yeah, I'm going to Shakespeare's house tomorrow. You are going to mm. celebrate your anniversary tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't have to do it on the day. You can do it on the day after, if you like. 7.95. Time to recap now. Topaz and pearls. This is such a lovely... <coughs> Excuse me. It's the end of a cold. It's the end of a cold. It's nearly gone. It's nearly gone. Actually, I've got rid of this one quite quickly, which is quite good. Uh, 9.95. That's basically. Was this the bundle that should have been 21.95? Phil? Yeah. I wonder where you've gone there. I thought you'd gone for a woodland walk there, Phil. Contemplating life's rich tapestry, or maybe, uh, you know making rearrangements to, uh, to go on this woodland walk. In fact, the more we hear about it, the more we, w we want to be yeah. there, don't we, Katie? <laughs> uh, and one of those pocket alarms, Phil. <laughs> Nine pounds and 95 pence. Oh, put the barrel with it, says uh, someone. Uh, where did I put the barrel? Uh, if I can find it. Yes, would work. Would definitely work. Nice little combo that would be. Um, Alison, well done. Phyllis in Sussex, Carolyn in East Lothian, uh, Lynn, collectors in Kent, Berkshire, uh, Norfolk, Yvonne in Lancashire, Glenda in Bridge, and Jill in Greater London, Joanne in Dorset. Hang on a minute. I've just looked at the clock. It's five to nine. Five to nine on Sunday night. How? How? Do you know after nine o'clock as well, this is the bit where you, um, where you quite frankly ruin our evening by telling us how delicious whatever it is that you've had to eat today has been. <laughs> Beryl is said to be the stone of good luck. Is it, Anne? I didn't know that, actually. No, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. Stone of good luck. Mm. Ooh. Yes, it is, actually. You're right. Phil saying my shirt, my shirt's a bit beryl. What do you mean? It looks like a blouse. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, <laughs> Phil? Um, and again, I just need to recap as well, and I just need to reiterate. I'm so sorry. Phil's Phil's doing my uh, every hour is split up into uh, four quarters, and I've now got to do my quarterly nag for the shell pearl strands, I'm afraid. Um, 50 of each of the shell pearls. So you've got white, you've got ivory, and you've got baby pink. Now I've got 50 sets of these in baskets at the moment, um, and we need to move to close because I have to tell you that every, every one of these needs to go tonight because there needs to be no evidence of this. So collector in Lincolnshire, Berkshire, West Midlands, uh, Carol, Amanda, Gabrielle, Lynn, Claire, Jackie, Dawn, and others as well. Um, if you could do us a favour and check those out, that'd be great. It's the final kit and the final hour of the week on JM. Coming up straight after these important messages. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, 
a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our 30 day money back guarantee. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Tune in this Bank Holiday Monday for the launch of Gemma Crow's DVD, Cinema Projects. Gemma will guide you through an array of different techniques, including roses, leaves, feathers and spirals. Take your cinema work to the next level, so make sure you tune in this Monday at 10am. It couldn't be easier to buy from Jewelry Maker with all the information you need right there on screen from the item code and the product description right down to the price. And whether you're buying at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So what are you waiting for? Simply telephone our free phone number or join us at JewelryMaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. You are watching Derek, you have my every sympathy, uh, but it's only for another hour, uh, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's the last hour of the weekend. It's fantastic to have your um, company. We now have, wow, this is such an amazing deal of the day. I'm surprised it's still around, to be honest with you, because it absolutely flew out the door in the morning show this morning. Um, so many more went in the mid show as well. Um, we are talking about five meters of ivory pearls. Now, you discount these for a second. Um, we're talking about um, just the ivory uh, this time because the, um, the peacock are another selection coming up for you. You've got lots and lots of different sizes going on here. It's 10 strands all told. It's just incredible. I mean, if you want your ultimate bridal supply in one piece, that's it, isn't it? It's there completely and utterly. Um, of the um, larger sizes, and these graduate down, we've actually, Sam Blesser has, has counted all of the pearls in today's deal of the day. So you've got uh, one, two, three, four strands, which you'd consider to be the larger um, of the pearls here. Um, there's around about 300 pearls in that sort of larger size. In the medium size there, you're looking at around about the 370 pearls of the four strands that I'm just moving there. And if you slightly to the left, can you see the two smaller strands there? There's actually, and then what size are the smaller ones, Phil? Three to four. Or is it smaller than that? 
Oh, sorry. No, I haven't got any details here. It's not it's popping up. No, two by one metre strand. Oh, three to four. So three to four millimetres are the smallest ones. And then we go up to six to seven. And then eight to nine millimetres. But on the two smaller strands there, they actually total 448. And this is the total price. Wow. They're all natural. They're all completely and utterly real. And if you think about a total of 1,121 pearls in our studio sample here, um, it's superb. Oh, sorry, right, yes, it's, it's not four strands. They are two one-metre strands. Forgive me, I just don't touch this display. It's just so beautiful. I don't want to touch it. But you're getting two one-metre strands of the, the larger um, pearls. I can see now. It all makes sense, I think. Or am I wrong? Or are they all individual strands? Okay, there you go. You can see there, that's using all of the, um, all of the strands. 100 of these were sold out this morning, and there are 45 in baskets. So do not miss out at 99.95. Mm. When you think of how many projects, Katie, I mean, it's... That's eye-popping, isn't it? That certainly is. I mean, it, even if you're buy, buying it for a stash builder or if you do work for, like, and work with predominantly wedding um, pieces, yeah. this is where your money is at, it's, definitely. It's, it's your dream. And again, I mean, I know, you know, that's, that's a considered sum for JM, isn't it, 99 95 to, to spend on one thing. But you think about how long would it be before you had to return to top up your supply. Mm. It would be a long, long time, yeah. wouldn't it? You've got the money back guarantee as well, so if you want to check out the quality, if you're not happy with the sample that comes to you, then you return them and we can, well, if the stock is there, we can replace, but they are returnable. So you can, you can check it out, you can get it home and see it. Um, amazing, just amazing. Right, now we'll do the other deal of the day, which is the Peacock um, versions. Again, pretty much the same thing going on here. Um, even more of the Peacock um, sets sold out. In fact, we only have 20 left. Is that right, Phil? Only 20 left. Um, oh, my crikey. Oh, oh, my word. Right, now our lovely um, in-house designers have done wonders with this deal of the day. Have a look at this twist necklace here. That is so wow. beautiful. Using all three sizes of the pearls. Oh. Forgive me, let me just move the clasp up. Oh, I mean, out, up and out of the way. That's what I meant. Look at that, stunning. Beautiful. And this necklace next to it, like a lovely waterfall necklace, has such a lot of movement going on in it. That's stunning. And that's only very, very simple to put together mm. as well. Really, really dead easy. That's lovely. Stunning. So again, it's the same dimensions. It's the same strands. So you're getting um, pearls that go up to eight to nine millimeter round. Uh, you've got, uh, is it six to sevens is the medium size. And you've got two strands of the um, smaller size, which are the three to four millimeter round. Stunning. Um, 147 of, sorry, uh, nearly 300 of the larger, nearly 400 of the medium size, and nearly 450 of the small pearls. So actually, uh, totals 1,123 pearls on our studio sample. And 1,123 pearls, and we're talking at 99.95. Mm. So when you when you do the uh, do the kind of reckoning on that one and think about how many pieces, um, if we break it down, it works out at less than 10 pence per pearl. And if you think about two pearls making a pair of stud earrings mm. or a pair of drop earrings on two short lengths of chain, yeah. and you think about the return on just that, how long is it going to take to return your entire... Well, for me, I'd sell um, 
my pearl earrings like that for ten pounds a pair mm -hmm. on sterling silver yeah, yeah. findings. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, nine Definitely. pairs of earrings. Well, ten pairs of earrings, and you've <coughs> got your money back. That's it. Job done, isn't it? And that's not going to take too long either, is it? No. You know, if you've got a couple of craft fairs on the go, you know, you'll regularly people will, you know, regularly. And again. The, the thing to bear in mind, by the way, is if you've made 10 pairs of them, don't put out all 10 pairs at once. No. Just put out a couple of pairs, you know, less is more sometimes, let them go, and then just replenish a small mm. amount. So maybe just put two pairs out, a pair of the peacock, a pair of the white, let them settle, <coughs> let them settle and simply replace them. Don't put, mm. don't put all of your, uh, you know, all of your wares out on display. Do you know what I mean? Because it creates a little bit of exclusivity yeah. then, doesn't it? And it's not, you're not tricking anyone or anything. I mean, they don't know how many you, you have or haven't. And remember, that's maximising your space. You know, you're paying there to be at a craft yeah. fair generally, aren't you? You're paying for your, you know, your table and your space or whatever it might be. So make the most of it. Get the biggest selection out there. You know, little pearl section over there, little labradorite selection, sapphire, peridot, whatever your gemstone is. Um, amazing. That's brilliant. Now, if everyone checks out on that one, I've got 40 in baskets still at the moment, and there are just 25 of those remaining, so congratulations, well done. That's, that's brilliant. Um, are we off for a little walk now? Well, I don't have to, Phil. It's up to you. I don't want to sit here all night, if you like. I don't mind. <laughs> right. Oh, here I come. Here I come. Hello again. Ah, <sighs> Right. What have we got this time? Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous. So we're talking mother of the bride this time. We did, um, we, 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 um, we covered the bride earlier. No, that still didn't sound right. Um, we, we had the kit that was called Here Comes the Bride earlier, and now it's time for mother of the bride. Um, okay, good. Let's look at something, shall we? I don't mind it. Whatever you want to look at, Mike, anything will do. That's fine at this moment. Anything, anything. Thank you very much. Uh, right, silver plated copper wire. We have got it's 20 meters of your point four this time, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 20 meters of your point four, 10 meters of your point eight. Oh, hang on, I've done this the wrong way around. Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. That's point four, that's mm. point four. There's four meters of 40. One mil. Four metres of one mil. 20 metres yeah. of point 0.4, 10 metres of point 0.8, yeah, and four, and four metres, metres of one, one millimetre yeah. gauge. Right, got it. Done it. Do you know that, well, you can probably reckon, reckon out the price already just for the wire bundle, can you? If you think about it. If you look at that wire bundle, mm. You think about the price of just that wire bundle alone. Let's have a look at the pearls now. <gasps> love, 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 love. And we, do you know what? We haven't seen anything like it. I think through our whole our whole show tonight, no. we haven't seen anything like these pearls. You've got um, lavender baroque pearls, which are nine by eight to nine by ten, and they are side drilled as well, which is really, really good. So, so they are standing tall and drilled through the side. We've got 49 on our strand, by the way. These are the larger ones. And then you've got the smaller, again, side drilled, um, lavender pearl nuggets, eight by six millimeter, and there are 63 on our strand. Now, they're both described as lavender, but obviously you can see there's a distinct difference in tone. You've got a softer, um, lighter tone on the larger one, and you've got slightly more a sort of darker, slightly more purplish kind of tone, mm. certainly a deeper tone, maybe on a backdrop of a, um, almost a sort of, um, what's the, what's that colour shade? I can't think of it right now. Um, it's got almost a, more of a sort of a titanium background mm. to it, do you know what I mean? A real strong, strong yeah. sort of body background, whereas you've got a real sensuality to the, to the larger ones. Yeah. Um, and apart from all of that, You've also got, ah, some gorgeous Swarovski crystals. These are really lovely. Yes, it might be best to show you those on the recording, actually. You've got um, two chunky pairs, 
and these are the, uh, is it Zillion they call them? Yes. Yeah, Zillion Oval, um, two of those, 14 by 10, and you've also got a chunky pair, um, two of those, 14 by 10, uh, sorry, the, um, I do beg your pardon, the oval one you get one of, you get two of the pairs, mm. I beg your pardon. Right, so 112 pearls, 119 elements in the, the kit entirely for this one. There is a big saving coming your way as well. You've made some amazing pieces, including, now what do we call the spoon again? It's a Welsh love spoon. A Welsh love spoon. Shall I pick that up? Hang on, hang on, I'll, I'll, uh, look. I'll pick that up for you. A Welsh love spoon. And now you've made that from scratch, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, and I've used the pearls from the first kit in there. Yeah. Just the small pearls there, but yeah. Isn't that beautiful? And we were thinking that would be good uh, as well. I mean, if you're thinking, maybe christening, you know, it's, mm. you often oh, have yeah. something like that, don't you? Welsh love spoon. Now, what were you saying about adding? You add things yes, to it. Yes, for the children, you add um, beads. They, they have like a, a, a cage in, in the one I've got, and I've got like a one, just a one little wooden ball that goes in there, or beads, ah, or whatever. Okay. For every child that you have, they add in a, they add in a bead. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Have you got a Welsh spoon? Uh, sorry, a Welsh spoon, a love spoon. Have you got one? Did you get one on your wedding day? Wait, wedding day. I'd love to hear about it. Um, Right, how many beads are in yours? Right, are you ready for the saving? Oh, here comes a message from Liz. Um, I'd call those pearls lavender and lilac. Yes, you're right, actually. They're beautiful. Katie, your designs are fabulous. They oh, always are, you, aren't Liz. they? This one in particular, I love. Right, are you ready price-wise? Here we go, all of that copper wire. <gasps> Do you know what? I think 1995 feels to me mm -hmm. like it is the wire bundle on its own. Yeah. Two strands of pearls. Plus your Swarovski mm. crystals as well. Wow. Should... That's... Oh, uh, okay, right. This is part of this bank holiday bonanza that nobody's told anybody about. Uh, <laughs> 46.95 it should have been. So you've got a saving there of £24. Because to be honest yeah. with you, it's either those two strands of pearls that are 22.95 or it's this wire bundle that's 22.95. It certainly shouldn't be the both. Plus the Swarovski elements crystals. What? I oh, know, that's amazing. Bonkers! They're beautiful. That's really, really good. Okay. Um, now, you're going to show us, which are you going to, oh, you're going to show us the rose, the aren't rose, you? The rose, yes. The rose. The yellow rose of Texas. <laughs> um, it is very, very good, actually. I have to say, um, it's very intricate and it's very exact as well. I think sometimes with florals, it's difficult to get that authenticity. Mm. So you think instantly recognize that. Yeah. I know exactly what it is first view. Uh, whereas sometimes um, it's difficult to interpret flowers sometimes, oh, isn't yeah. it? Because you kind of have to think, oh, well, you know, could be a pay, could be a daisy, could be a daffodil, could be a lily, could be this, mm. that, and the other. Uh, that's unmistakable. Okay. Right. So now then. For the actual rose, I've probably taken about a metre of the um, one mil wire. So I'm oh, that's sure. what you were doing that's when you were making your earlier. aerial earlier, I <laughs> see. But for the demo purpose, I shall uh, just cut a small amount. So this okay. is the one mil? So this is the one mil wire, and mm -hmm. then this is a really good structural wire as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's got some good structure to it. Now we're going to try and find the middle of where we've just cut, and we're just sort of create a nice, nice little oval just on the top there. And then I'm just going to get some of the point four, and you get plenty of the point four, so. Yeah, 20 meters. The world's your lobster, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now then, I'm just gonna come into the top here with my um, point four. I'll just leave a little tail for you to hold on to, and I'm just going to wrap a few times around the top there just to cover the front. Okay. So I'm just literally just wire wrapping around the top there just to and you will then just push it in with your nails together like so and we're just creating a little bit of a gizmo coil just around the wire there. 
Now we'll get to a point where we can now start weaving and this is just a nice basket weave, nice and easy figure of eight basket weave. So our wire is now coming out from the back here. So I'm just going to come round to the front. Then we're going to go, oh, move that out of the way. I'm going to come round to the front there and we're going to go in between the two wires and bring that wire round the back of your other... I'm just going to move those down there because they're getting in the way. <laughs> um, and then bring that round to the back there and then go round once. Come back round again and now we're up the front. You're going to go down and then round to the back of your opposite wire. And going, so we are just creating a nice figure of eight. And I'm just going around twice and then coming back. And you do this all the way up to however big you want your uh, rows to be. So if I just do a couple more and then come back down. And it builds up quite nicely. So you always go around twice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can go around three times or oh four okay times so it's down to you it's up to you how big you want your weave to be but it's just nice to have a, a nice close weave you could even just do it once if you wanted to mm -hmm. and just go around like once that way and then once that way and once that way if you really wanted to got so a lot, you... lot of people checking out uh, on this already um, by the way uh, it's very very popular already I've got I've got a couple of multi buyers on this kit as well looking at the value um, which I'm not at all surprised on um, so uh, make sure well listen you you know you know when you've got a deal like this and the wire bundle alone but is it 34 metres all told, isn't it? So it's 20 metres of your 0.4, 10 metres of your 0.8, and 4 metres of your 1 mil gauge um, silver-plated round copper wire. I mean, just as a resource... Resource? Resource? Since when did I become American? <laughs> Hello to our American viewers. I did that for your benefit. As a resource, just that wire bundle alone would be quite a nice little stash. And often when you buy supplies, you just kind of buy what you need and you kind of think, oh, actually, it's a bit more fun if it arrives with some Swarovskis and some pearls as well. So even if you haven't got a specific project in mind, that's, you know, rather than saying, OK, well, I'll have a, a reel of that, two reels of that and one reel yeah. of that. It's just a bit more interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's nice to get a nice bundle coming through the door. Yes. Right. Sorry, right, I interrupted. I'm no, going to shut right. up now. <laughs> OK, then. so now we've got a nice... Uh, Nice weave just all along. And don't worry too much about keeping the distance between the two wires together because obviously roses are organic and you want your rose to look organic. If you want to keep it uniform, I would advise probably putting um, wire wrapping an actual bead in between your wires further up and this will then keep the same distance. So if you pop your bead and wire wrap uh, it in, it will okay. then keep the distance of the two wires the same yeah. all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my, um, I might have to do it this way. I, that's don't, right. I don't want to stab No, you. no, that's all right. <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> right then, so I'm just going to come in with my round nose pliers and I'm just going to create a nice loop just at the beginning there. So we're now sort of creating the bud part of the, the flower. Then I'm going to twist and then bring this round and this is how we're going to create our, um, our petals. So again just go around and twist and then I'm just going to take my hands and then just roll it and twist. So if I just... and because of this weave it's nice and easy to do. So now we're just coming around and you're just twisting the wire and then coming round, there we go, pushing that together. And as you can see, it's now sort of just... How did you get it to stay so symmetrical? <laughs> That's really good, isn't it? So there we go, and that is your, your rose. No way! So that is... No way is it that simple! Yeah, it looks so intricate, no. and so, and that is... Do you know what, that's, that honestly, if you want to have a go at the technique, it is worth just getting the kit just to get the wire bundled so you yeah. can just keep doing something. Imagine showing that to someone else 
as a new skill. Yeah. Imagine how confident, I mean, you would be showing it with the same kind of confidence as Katie has just shown you there, mm. reasonably quickly. Yeah. I'm, you know, listen, you might have seen <laughs> this kind of thing before. It, it, you know, it might not be new to you, but I have to say, Good gracious. So that's what my... Uh... Even Phil, even <laughs> Phil was like, oh really? Right, so that's, that's, that we're done. He thought, he thought that that would, it must. I mean, yeah. I mean, look, look. Look at how amazing that looks. And so you can keep making those. Yeah. You could actually make a lot of those quite quickly, couldn't yeah. you? Okay, yeah, I wouldn't maybe do it all on the same day because that's a lot of basket weaving. Oh, yes, yeah. You, you, what you might do is employ the help of a friend. Well, yes, you could do. And say, you can weave and, <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll do the fun bit. Yeah. Right. Okay, then. So, so from here. From here, now what I have done is on the actual piece, I just got some of the point for and I just wrapped point four all the way along um, each of these um, bits of wire that are now sticking out but we're going to make the leaves so instead of doing the wire wrapping this is where we make the leaves as well so okay. it's all on one piece of wire uh, okay so just going to warm up the wire a little bit and then come in with my round nose pliers and just sort of gauge how big you want your leaf to be and then come back round this side and we're going to come in with our, and then you're just going to come in and out and in and out. And then there's one of your leaves. I'm just going to hold that there and wrap that piece around the bottom there. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, so I've just wrapped that little piece around there. If you wanted to make a decorative piece out of this, you could do a nice spiral with that, or we're now just going to bring that back up here and then use our round nose pliers just to come in here. And I'm just going to hold the top here because you want to sort of keep that vein of your, in the your leaf in the centre yeah. there. So just bring that around. And then one more time, and then, there we go, and then we'll just give that a little bit of a, a chomp off, give that a squeeze, and then you can just move it around, and there you've got your leaf. There we go, and you've got your nice leaf there. Okay, and then you do that on the other side, and then there are your connectors, and that's your main pendant. That's fabulous. That is fabulous. Um, do you know, that's, honestly, <laughs> that, I, I, honestly, I'm gobsmacked. Um, looking forward to my birthday present, Katie, says Evelyn. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, see? There you go. Brilliant, thank you, lovely. That's all right. Um, short and sweet, like both of us. Um, $22.95, um, lots and lots and lots of these in baskets. Be very, very quick. Uh, we are, what are we doing now? Oh, live walk. This is where I ooh, walk, live. Ooh, live. <laughs> live, not even rehearsed. Derek can walk and talk. I know. <laughs> Andy's a man. Are you ready? <laughs> I, shall I, I feel always feel like, like I should do it in some kind of, you know, some kind of showbiz <laughs> way, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but always ends up looking a bit naff. <laughs> Anyway, right, so between now and the end of the show, it is on and gone. On and gone. Right, there are loads of things that we love as well, because Phil and I were looking at this in, uh, in these pieces in the break, and there are loads and loads of pieces that we love. Right, starting with, and it's going to be a bit of a marathon between now and 10 o'clock. Um, first of all, Tanzanite. We only have five of these. It's in sterling silver. Big, big, big. Um, nine carat tanzanite connector 
with lots of sterling silver, th nearly three and a half grams. We only have five left, on and gone at 24.95. Now we're going to have to act quite swiftly in this sort of half hour or so. It's the last half an hour of the week. Um, I know it's a bank holiday tomorrow, but you know, lots of people have got plans and this, that and the other. Um, so we're just gonna make this next half an hour Amazing. I mean, really, really amazing. So five of these less. The fir first five of you. <laughs> it's not good when I can't speak either, is it? Uh, but there you go. First five of you will get this. Is there anybody in? Anybody in so far? Down to the last four. What well on, Brian? Last four. You could wire wrap this as a ring as well, couldn't you? You certainly could, yeah. It is gorgeous because you could always manipulate the um, silver and bring mm. that down, couldn't you? Yeah. And then wire wrap something very, very comfortable. Collector in Cumbria, congratulations. You've now got yours as well. 24 95 We only have the last four. Quick, 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 quick. Can I just um, tell you in the on and gone, let me just show you a few bits and pieces while you're looking. Um, we've got lovely labradorite. We've got faceted rounds. We've got wonderful um, sort of faceted um, squares as well uh, coming for you. So if you're missing out on your labradorite, there's all sorts going on. Uh, well done. Congratulations. We've got uh, Ethiopian opal coming up as well. All sorts. Yeah, let's do it. Which one? 23. No, 23 is Labradorite. No, it isn't. Sorry. 23. Oh, so the numbering on this box is really strange. There's like old numbers and then new numbers. It's not apparently obvious. Right. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Multicolored opals. I'll tell you what, the colour play in some of these is amazing as well. Yo, 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 yo. Look at this. Sorry. <laughs> Sound like a rapper there for a second, for some reason. Look at that. Oh, I love that. They're so alive. Every one of the, the opals on this strand is alive. Do you know what I mean? I mean, mm. it, with alive with colour and, and, and vitality. Really, really lovely. Almost like they have an individual kind of aura to them. Mm. Stunning. They're stunning. Ha <laughs> ha! Phil! Phil, 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 Phil. Hello? <laughs> Hello? How many left? Eleven. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We only got eleven. They'd go in my shoes. We oh they would. Oh Katie is wearing the most fabulous shoes, honestly. They are uh, they are incredible. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. I th I thought uh, Dorothy had walked in from the uh, <laughs> from from the Wizard of Oz. Seven ninety five well done. Congratulations. Right, gotta move on. Uh, can we do this faceted um, round labradorite? H is it? Um, labradorite faceted rounds. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't often see them in faceted rounds, do you actually? No. Love them. Love them. Not 16.95. Not many left either. On and gone. 250 carats at. Oh, wow. Okay, under 10. Really good resource, this one. A really good one to have. And again, get it with this strand as well, which is coming up. Get it with this strand, mm -hmm. which is this faceted um, squares strand. Imagine alternating these and these. They'd be just amazing. 9.95. Come on, folks. You've got to grab these. How many left? 12. 12 left and we're under 10 pounds. It's a collector's stone, as you know. It's one we love collecting. I know you do see a lot of labradorite here because it is our gemstone, but I do love the variety of cuts that we've got. This is the same cut as your... Um, yes, your, the, the shell pearl, yeah. Yes, your shell mm. pearls in your necklace. And actually scaling even across the room, because we're looking at 10 millimetre round here. Look, yeah. see the glow as well. Even They're you're amazing. right the way across the room well, with, that, with that main camera there. And that's still giving you that signature Labradorite inner glow. Got to get them with these though, haven't you? Got to get them with these. We'll, we'll do these next. 
We'll do these next. Carolyn, well done. Barbara in California. Is that lovely Barbara that sent me an email the other day? Thank you if it is. It was a lovely email. Um, Catherine in Lanarkshire. Let's do the squares now. Let's do the squares. There's lots of goodies in this box, let me tell you. Lots and lots of goodies. Now, you've got to have around about uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 24. 24 of these really, really quite substantial um, squares. So it's not just 16 by 16, but the, the depth of these must be, uh, I don't know, 3, 4 millimetre. Mm. I mean, and, and again, just look at how alive they are. Actually, I'd love a bracelet with one of these in the centre. Yeah, that, that Macrame bracelet mm. or something like that. And cufflinks, they'd make great cufflinks. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Do you know, that's, that's, the, um, that's the versatility of wire working as well, isn't it? You mm. could take almost any gemstone and make it into a cufflink for yep. a guy because sometimes with cufflinks you've got limitations, haven't you? Yes, but if you can yeah. manipulate the wire as you're kind of wearing it, mm. I guess, is how it works. Yeah. I don't, I've never seen cufflinks being made. In fact, we should do a, a bit of a, um, a, a tutorial on making cufflinks, shouldn't mm. we, for, for guys, for wire wrapping. Yeah. Because I think that would be really, really good. Because sometimes I look at gemstones and I think, oh, you could never make cufflinks out of them because you couldn't get it through the doodah. But you don't need to be mm. able to get it through the doodah, do you? No. Because you can use your wire to manipulate yeah. well, the make, doodah. You use the wire to make your T-bar. Yes. And then you can then do like your intricate wire work around the, yeah. the stone. Definitely, yeah. Ah, hello, lovely Barbara. Thank you. Thank you for your lovely email as well, bless you. I'm glad you're here with us. What time is it in California, Barbara? I can never remember whether you're behind or whether you're... It's uh, behind, isn't it? ...in front. Is it yeah. half past... You're behind us, apparently. Half past five in the... Af half past one. Afternoon, yeah. In the afternoon. One thirty in the afternoon. I trust you're well, Barbara. Welcome. Well, so that's Eastern Pacific time, is it, apparently? Seven. Oh, no. Well, that's not seven. If it's half past one, is it? That's eight, because it's half nine now. Have their clocks gone forward yet, though? Because their clocks go uh, uh, forward. No, backwards Barbara, even. Barbara will tell us. Before hours, I know they do. Mark has a DVD, Makes for Men, Derek. Brilliant. Oh, OK. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to... He did it with Drew. Well, that's no good. We'll have to get that redone then. <laughs> won't we? With Drew. <laughs> Can't understand a word he says. <laughs> He's my brother from another mother. Love Drew. <laughs> Love Drew. <laughs> He's Phil's favourite South African. <laughs> you are terrible, Phil. He's from New Zealand, isn't he? Where everything is thus. Have a look at thus. Bless him. Love Drew. I've not seen him for years, actually, Drew. I've bumped into Lucy since I've been back here, but I haven't seen Drew. Don't have many men here, do we? Don't let many in, do they? No. Only me and only me and Drew, actually, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, and Mark, of course, yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, and they say that we're in the age of equality. <laughs> 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 Amethyst rondels. This is a diddy little strand, isn't it? Yeah. Seven ninety-five. It is one thirty-five. Phil, you were correct. I think there's an eight hours difference between uh, between. Oh, so it's eight hours in California, Mike. And Mike thought it was seven. Oh, it may, they may go backwards and forwards as well. Did you go backwards and forwards, Barbara, like we did? It's I know when we were in Canada, it? they went back earlier. The clocks fell back earlier than ours did here. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? Um, when I'm talking cruise holidays elsewhere, there are some cruises where you cross the international date line and you actually you lose a day, Phil, don't you? Or do you gain a day? One way or the other, anyway, you either, 
you either lose a day, yeah, you lose a day, don't you, when you cross yeah. the international date line. I'm like, lose a day? How do you lose a day? How do you do that? Weird. Anyway, amethyst. Um, yeah, there you go. Yes, please. Well, um, yeah. Um, um, let's do the one you liked, um, Phil, number um, 15. Oh, I've just seen 19, that's interesting. Um, 15. Yeah, it's nice though. Really nice, funky shape. Um, this is coated quartz, isn't it, this one? Mm. Look at that, I mean, it just, yeah, very galactic. Got a lot going on. Yeah, like the mini um, stalic tights, yeah, tights come down, that's it, that's how you remember. Mm. Uh, I, <laughs> you just agree with me then? Yes. Okay, that's all right then. <laughs> uh, eight pounds and 95 pence. Wow. See? Never stop learning, Katie. Never stop learning. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day. 8.95. Oh, no. They should just leave school, shouldn't they, until you're like, you know, until you're in your, I don't know. <laughs> we'll do it at the end rather than the beginning. Yeah. You don't actually learn it, do you, really? Do you? Not really. How much, how much information? I mean... Blimey, I mean, I, I, unfortunately, in, in what I do, I never have to talk about osmosis. I have to winkle it into conversations because <laughs> it's the only thing I can remember from biology. Osmosis, well, you know. Osmosis. And that's about plants anyway, isn't yeah. it? It's not even about us. It's not the only bit of biology I remember, obviously, but, you know. Uh, in terms of, in terms of retained knowledge, yeah. and in geography, the only bit of retained knowledge is topography. What topography is? That's it. That's it. Yeah. No, but I didn't remember that. Topography is maps. Cartography. Yeah. Yes. A cartographer is somebody who makes, makes map. maps or draws. Don't maps. think they have any more of those anymore. <laughs> do they? Don't think they need any more, any of those anymore, do they? You know, there's, you see those people uh, who are out surveying with their theodolites. Yes. How does, how does that work? I have no, it's la lasers. Because one it, man stands over there yeah. with like a lollipop, it looks like a lollipop yeah, without like the lollipop that. top. Yeah, just standing there. Yeah. Going, for heaven's sake, will you hurry up? <laughs> it's raining. And the other man has just got something on a tripod, mm. which just looks like a sundial, doesn't yeah. it? I could ask, Phil, yeah. The thing is, I don't really want to know that much. Um, 18. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. There's only five of these. It's tourmaline, one of the, I think one of the most, most vibrant gemstone families. What's up, Phil? No way. Right, okay, all of this tourmaline in all of these different colour shades. Look. £5.95. Wow. Are you having a laugh? All of the different colours as well. £5.95. Quick, 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 quick. Last few, um, last few pieces of the weekend now. That's it. That's it, then we're shutting up shop. Or oh, I suppose tomorrow is still technically part of the weekend, weekend isn't it? Yeah. Depending on who you are. I mean, we're all off, aren't we? We're all off. Mm. Katie's off cele uh, say, celebrating her 18th uh, wedding anniversary because you don't have to do it on the day. You can do it the day after, if you like. So you're off to uh, celebrate. You go, you go for some, something to eat and all yes, of that. Yes, yeah. Or a nice hotel and whatnot. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Yeah. Dinner for two. Dinner for two. Marvellous. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> what, Leah? It's dinner for two. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, will you have dinner for two tomorrow? After the woodland walk? Dinner for two? Right, takeaway for two. Is it? Oh, uh, they're talking about, the boys are talking about games, Game of Thrones. Are you watching that, Katie? No, I've just downloaded the first season to watch. Oh, have you? Yeah. Have you watched any at all so far? I haven't so watched any yet, no, not yet. I've... Uh, is it good, Leah? Okay, Leah likes it. I'll take Leah as a good yardstick that it might be half decent then. Yeah. It's quite. Um, was Jill was talking she about said it, it was last quite night? Gory, didn't she, she? Yeah, she said it's all blood and guts. Oh, sorry, I should have moved on to these tubes. I do beg your pardon. I got them here next to me. Well, I was listening to you telling Leah off, Mike. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, blue coated pyrite. These are fabulous shapes, aren't they? Oh, did we have some blue pearls earlier tonight? Yes. Yeah, Naked in the Rain. I, mm. That's the name of the group that sang Naked in the Rain, by the way. That's how my brain remembered it. But blue pearls with mm. these tubes. Yeah. Because they're very electric, aren't they? Oh, right, recap time. Shell pearls again. Oh, time to nag again. See, I told you. Actually, he did leave it for an hour. It's been an hour since I've had to nag you about this one. Uh, and you might no, never have seen this, because we only have 200, is it, for the day? 200 of sets of these for the day. Mm. Um, it's three strands of perfectly round created shell pearls, eight millimetre rounds, uh, a strand in white, a strand in ivory, and a strand in pink. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Now listen, can I just level with you? The price of um, these really should not have been bundled. They should have been either the ivory or the white or the pink. And I wouldn't have thought the price would be that far away from something like 5 or 6.95 a strand, I'm guessing. Um, you've got all three strands. There are 50 beads on each strand, 50 shell pearls on each strand. So 150 shell pearls. It's working out at less than six pence per pearl. Uh, who do I need to talk to this time around, Phil? Oh, you know I don't like nagging, but Phil keeps nagging me, so I'm, I'm afraid I just have to pass it on down the line. Um, I don't want to name names at all. You know, I don't like to single people out at all in any way. Collector in Dorset. Uh, Diane in East Yorkshire. Collector Carol in East Sussex. Collector in Lincolnshire. We have got a lot of these in baskets. If, if this is the... <laughs> this is the first time you've seen these tonight. It was an odd noise, wasn't it? It was a really odd noise, like somebody dropped their egg cup. Um... This is a funny old building, but I do love it. Now, where was I? Uh, Catherine in Lanarkshire, well done. What was I saying? Th that's it. The noise, the noise took me in a different direction. 60 in baskets. Well, that's more than when we started, Phil. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. Because <laughs> now there are even more in baskets than when we started. How... How... Um, how, um, how many are left, Phil? That's what I'm looking for. 50 out of the 200, because we need these all gone by 10 o'clock, don't we, ideally? Mm. I mean, I'm not pressure selling, but we, 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 do, need, we do need to um, sell all of these by 10 o'clock. Yeah, for our own good, quite frankly, to avoid the uh, P45. And the thing is, you know, Phil's the only one who's eligible for a P45. Yeah. You don't get one, do you? No. You're freelance as well, mm -hmm. aren't you? I'm freelance, that's it. So we don't get P45, we just don't get called. No. <laughs> that's it, they just don't call again. As a freelancer, Phil, oh, you'd have three warnings, it's fine. <laughs> don't, you have a, don't you have a verbal and then... Um, Verbal, written, and then final. Yeah, and you'll be all right now. You're part of, of immediate. They're they're amazing. 
They're fine. They'll do it all properly. <laughs> we, have, we have the Radio Times in our family. Yeah. So they're going to do it all properly, aren't they? <laughs> they might reassign you, Phil. You might find some use for you on the Radio Times. <laughs> uh, Lizeth in Germany. Good evening, as I think it will still be. Yes, Germany's an hour behind, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Guten Abend, Lizeth. <coughs> See? Mm. German GCSE. Got a U. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Unbelievably impressive. What did you say, Phil? Sorry. Oh, yeah, Topaz and Pearls. <laughs> yeah, you needn't have bothered coming to the exam. Um, that's what I got for my German GCSE. White wedding. White wedding, sorry. Uh, white topaz and pearls, as you can see there together, at 9 95 This was the um, combo that was meant to be 21 95 wasn't it? Mm. 9 95 no, 9 I know, it's true. I know. Oh, yeah, that's very true. I can count to a thousand in German if that's any use, but that's you know that's where uh, that's where it pretty much ends. And I do know the name of the kitchen and the bedroom. Oh, and I do know how to say excuse me, please. And I can say that in uh, Dutch as well, but that's only because um, I was in and out of Schiphol Airport twice a week for a year when I lived in Holland. Well, lived. Ish. I commuted backwards and forwards to Holland. That speciality act I haven't told you about, Katie. <laughs> Great. They loved it. In the bowl fields of Kuchenhof. No, it wasn't really. I, I wish it was that exciting. I went to uh, install computers in an office block <laughs> outside The Hague. Very exciting carrying two phones in my hand the whole time. The Dutch are so chilled out, though. Mm. Don't try and manage people, though, who are Dutch, because they're mm. so chilled. Honestly. Are you about to say again? No, I don't think they do have to wear the wooden shoes anymore, Phil. I think, uh, I think things have moved on now. Wooden shoes. Do you know clogs are leather these days, Phil? Yeah. We have a little look on, um, on that other channel I work for. You know, the Pamers channel. And you can buy leather clogs. I mean, they are ladies' ones. They're probably not for you, Phil, but... Yeah, <laughs> ladies wear clogs, don't they? Yes. Leather clogs. They do. Leather or pleather. Um, 6.95. Um, this is our must-have tonight, 346 multicoloured freshwater pearls. No, I don't mean 346, sorry. 346 is the number of units we had to start with. I've got windy pops tonight. I think it's from speaking too much, that's probably <laughs> what it is. There are 72 pearls on this strand. Done a bit too much talking tonight. Never mind, got a week off now. Mind you, I'll say that. There'll be, there'll be a message in the morning. <laughs> Um, Derek, <laughs> I don't mind. Just means that unfortunately, Mike, I can't make the woodland walk. Unfortunately, just because. Oh, right, okay. It's just because it's so far away. <laughs> I wasn't invited anyway, no, Katie. No, you didn't invite me either. No, I, I we're not invited. Said I'd go, and he said no. No, he only want, He just wants to take Phil. <laughs> 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 Do you know what he just said? Mike, Mike just said I'm too old. I slow him down, slow the group down. The group being him and Phil. <laughs> oh, you're not going, Phil. You think you're not going, Phil, but you are actually, you are actually lashed, lashed to the chair that you're sat on right now, unbeknownst to you. Mike has lashed you to the chair. Wow. It's getting a bit like misery, this, isn't it? Mm. We're only slightly worried. <laughs> I shall be in my car by one minute past ten, let me tell you. <laughs> and long gone. Are we? It's time for a final one of these, everyone.
Better not say that, Phil, had I? Better not say that. Uh, anyway, do they record the talk back here, Phil? Do they? That, that'll be an interesting listen, that, won't it, uh, Mike? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Now, we've got these, which are brand new. Rose gold brushed sterling silver tubes. So the sterling silver that have then been given a plating of uh, rose gold, what they do is they'll um, cast them as solid tubes in silver, then they will sandblast all of them and then they'll do the rose, rose gold plating. And rose gold plating on a brushed, on a, um, a sandblasted finish like this means actually you get more gold because of course the sandblasting gives you peaks and troughs. Um, in, the, in the finish. So actually you're getting a stronger bond and you're getting more of that gold because it's sitting in valleys, um, which means that it's longer lasting. Because often if you, if you had, for instance, like, um, like a plane, which is why quite often you'll have chains which are plated with gold, which have irregular shapes. If you had, for instance, like a 0.4 millimeter wire that was sterling silver, and then you um, plated that with gold, the gold would be more vulnerable because of course you're just you're just plating one smooth surface on top of another if that makes sense um, whereas with this because you've got that rough texture going on and whether that rough texture is diamond cut links or grooves or chevrons whatever it may be um, it's giving that that greater adherence to the do you know what I'm saying all of this and I'm thinking will you just shut up that's so boring Sorry. Do you know, I got halfway through that sentence. I was thinking, no one wants to know this. It's 10 to 10 on a Sunday night. Who cares? 11.95. 11.95. Very rarely do I bore myself, but I did during that. So I do beg your pardon. Ignore everything I just said there. It is true, but who, who, we were just talking about school, weren't we? <laughs> it's Sunday night and a bank holiday weekend. Not to be burdened with this. Six pounds and 95 pence, and you've got 20 of these. So they are a brilliant resource. They are, what, seven millimetres in length. So seven, 10, 70, 140 millimetres would be five and a half inches end to end. That's pretty good, mm. isn't it? That's well worth knowing, actually. Um, there you go, not everyone's asleep. I haven't sent everyone to sleep, thankfully. <laughs> Lots of people um, grabbing these. In fact, Anila in Norfolk, bless you. She's got me on mute, she's got a good CD on. Um, five sets of these coming your way. Susan in Bristol, Carolyn in East Lothian. Everyone is checking out straight away as well. Lizeth is back with us in Germany as well. Fantastic. Have you been to Germany, Katie? I used to live there, yes. Oh, of course you did, yes. yes. Yeah. Of course you did. Oh, well, I'll come over for a little going now for a little uh, little chat whereabouts <laughs> were you in germany near near where that we would know um i was in a place called munster uh, oh yeah I think which is near dortmund right so yeah i've been to berlin and berlin was fantastic oh there's a, a tv tower that you can go and have a, a revolving restaurant you can go and have your dinner and and well you don't revolve <laughs> the, the the actual restaurant revolves very slowly um but it's wonderful God, but kind of thing you should be doing on your 18th anniversary. Yes. But there you go. And you, in fact, you stood here with me instead. Wow, well, you know. Hey, did, well, that's not been bad, has it? <laughs> it's been up. Right. We've had a giggle, haven't we? Um, when are you back, my love? I'm back on the 5th of September. Oh, yes, for yes. the Late Show, late isn't it? Late Show, yeah. It might be me yet. I think I'm waiting to hear, but it could well be. Could well be. So I'm sorry, it in does, advance. It does say on my email. TBC. Yes. Yeah. So... Yeah, so I'll apologise now if it is. No, no Sorry. need to apologise. It's always good fun though, isn't it? <laughs> Never know your luck in a raffle. Um, thank you so much for your company. I am back on the weekend of the... Well, if I'm not back on the 5th with this one, I will be back on the weekend, I think, of the 9th and 10th of September. Oh, I can't believe I'm not going to see you for a couple of weeks. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Um, 
come and follow on Facebook, JM Guest Designer Katie Reid, uh, Derek Marks TV presenter, that's what I laughingly call myself. Thanks for your company, lots of love from all of us, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning